Uh, hi guys. We're playing Dream Daddy today. Uh, I don't think the audio is really any different, but as always, I'm nervous about it, so tell me if there's audio issues. Uh, I have my mom and my sister here today. Hello! Hello! Uh, so yeah, that's fun. I don't know how to use a controller on this, I hope it'll let me use a mouse. Uh, and I think we'll just stop in. I can't hear game audio. Fuck. You're right. Uh, why? That was working before, so I don't know why it's not now. Hold on. Damn. Damn. Yeah, are you hearing it a lot through the mic? Because we have it on the TV so everybody can hear, which is not, like, uh, actually the best thing. Is it, yeah, it should be coming through desktop audio. Let me try just cycling that. What if I do that? You guys aren't hearing the window sound. Well, actually, I don't know if you are or not, but I'm yeah, not seeing it show up. It was pretty quiet, though, to be fair. Uh, sure. Let me let me try relaunching Dream Daddy. Uh, also, did you see Allo's comment? Check your desktop audio is set to the right device in OBS. Desktop audio set to the right device. It should be. What do you mean, like set it to a device? Um, oh, yeah, that's, that's probably, yeah, you're right, because I have it come out, coming out of the TV, so that's different. There's, there's that clutch twink tech support again. Yep, <laughs> we love our clutch twink tech, tech support. I was going to say text, and I'm like, no, 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 not text. Well, I mean, he's texting his support, so I guess. Yeah. Providing tech support through text. Tech, tech support. Text, text support. <laughs> yeah, there was. I had a sub joke and then I lost it. <laughs> so, Allo, Joe's got a T-shirt on today that I kind of want to send you. <laughs> I, yeah, I want, just I want to it. buy one for you. It's got a really pretty drawing of um, cloud on it. Okay, so what? What kind of audio thing am I on? Uh, this happens all the time, by the way. I'm always having audio issues. Is this him something? Wearing my cloud hoodie. Oh, hey, Trevor. Hi. Oh, hi, Trevor. Hey, Trevor. Actually, oh, there. Okay. Oh. Sorry. Epic fail. Sorry, headphone users, <laughs> I guess. Rip. Uh, let me, let me... Who is Gauther from Seven Deadly Sins? Uh, like, uh, just a kind of a feminine-looking guy. Uh, so, so no, I didn't. I, I just got pink. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that way down low and then try it again and see what happens. I can see, hypothetically, it just not liking that. He blew out one of Aloe's ears. That lovely sound. Okay, well now it's fine. Yikes. Apparently, it doesn't, it, when I turned it up higher, it didn't like that. So, like, I don't know if that's a feedback thing. Is it okay well, is, now? Is it because you've got the sound going through there and coming out here? Is it reverbing? Well, that's what I'm wondering. It, like, because it sort of is. Like, it's coming out through here, but the PC is reading it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if it's if it's good now, we're good. Just ho hopefully it's not, like, ultra quiet or anything. Um, although, this doesn't have, like, voice action. I think it's okay. Yeah, I, I know who Gother is. Uh, Mom hasn't seen that show. It sounds like my kind of show, though. Uh, it's... 
it's okay. I have a hard time like keeping track of things between seasons. Uh, and for some, like the wiki isn't fucking filled out. It's not like that. You know, it's not like one of the big shonen ones like Naruto, but it's also not unknown. So I don't know why. Uh, and this probably just doesn't have controller support because it's through like the Amazon games thing. So I guess I'll just use my mouse. That's OK. Uh, we're probably going to have to read dialogue for this because that's like how dating sims go. Oh, no. We so, have to do voices? Maybe. <laughs> oh, this must be the character. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. The same with, with the glasses, yeah. I do kind of look like I can see where you're coming from thinking Joe's I look cuter. like Gother. <laughs> jo yeah, Joe's definitely cuter. Joe's definitely cuter. You've seen my emotes, right? Yeah, so you I can, showed me I those. I can do my little blushy ah! and stuff. Or I can, I can be Dommy and tease Allo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I have this too, I didn't say it, but welcome to uh, day three of Hot Gay Summer. <laughs> uh, okay, so I'll, I'll do an obnoxious voice for Amanda, I guess. Okay. <laughs> I let my tongue roll out of my mouth and stop breathing. Amanda shakes me. Come on, dude! This hasn't worked on me since I was like six! <laughs> I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God! <laughs> Amanda, I bequeath to you all my earthly possessions. I just saw spread and my mind went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell that to my daughter. <laughs> spread my ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> spread my ass all over my recliner. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, well your crops better get into the moving van because it's leaving soon. <sighs> I finally opened my eyes and sat up while lying in the middle of the living room spooning a moving box. I yawn and stretch. Uh yeah, Trevor says hi to both of you. Oh uh, hi! I miss you. Morning, Manda oh. Panda. Yikes! Damn breath! Go brush your teeth! <laughs> I'm doing some Game Grumps voice and I don't know what, what one. I can't remember. Amanda's like one. 18. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Oh, uh, we do get to design our dream daddy. Yeah, so do we, do we like try to do me or do we try to like do something else? Good question. We do dad. Uh, <laughs> That's... Yeah, that's Too weird. Straight. That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God, that Amanda voice. Maybe <laughs> Kiki can voice Amanda, I don't know. I don't need the stream. So the dad that we're building right now. He's this, is, this is us. This is Amanda's dad. Yeah, okay. Wait. <laughs> Use your use your outside voice. I know. Yeah, let me see that the, the man. Yeah, dig in the man bun, but it's gotta be dark hair then. I don't wanna do the man bun. I, I think we do me unless we have like a, a like good alternative. Okay. I don't know, like stream stream you can see like me as a dad Goku. or or Goku. <laughs> there you go. Joe has to embrace his inner daddy. Do dad Joe. I kind of like that. Please do that. Fucking ridiculous anime eyes. Oh jeez. Or Voltorb eyes. There's actually not very many eye options here, no. and like not many of them are normal. No, I kind of like. Well, let's try that second one again. Yeah, no worries, Trevor. Thanks for saying hi. This one's okay. Bye, Trevor. The, or like one of these two. This looks kind of like tired. Yeah. What is the one above it? No, oh, that doesn't look great either. I think I think that one. Shifty. Yeah, tired and shifty kind of have some overlap. Yeah, that checks out. What? 
I'm, I'm, you'd think being like a fucking artist, I could make a good character, but I feel like every time I do a character creator, it comes out looking weird. Except for like, uh, Code Vein. Is that, that, that's like anime vampire Dark Souls. Mm. I made like a cute vampire boy. Yeah, I can just slim mouth. Can't have straight brows. Actually, straight brows are probably the way to go. Yeah. Facial hair. Okay, so I I do because I I do get hairy. I feel like if I was a dad, I would have. I feel like you have like a full beard. Yeah. Yeah. I can't, come on, give him the Viking twin beard, dude. No. Yeah. That's wrong. No. no. It's, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Like this one. I okay. think that one. Yeah. You can grow a good beard. I never like glasses choices either. They never have the. They never have the right kind. The like thin frames that I have. Yeah. Bear Joe. Yeah. Yeah, he could be a bear if he were bigger. Again, again, I don't know what I don't know what I am because even if I like really slim down, I don't think I'm a twink. Yeah, if you got really skinny, you could be called a twink, but I don't I, know. Yeah, I don't know. Is there an hairy twink? Is that what an otter is? Hmm. Between a twink and a bear, but it's it's like a twink plus muscles. It's not really mm, like, like more athletic. Middle. Okay. Yeah, I guess we'll do these. That works. You gotta give them. Yeah. Oh my god. Yes. I do feel like I would like a piercing, maybe. Uh, like in real life? No, no, here. Oh, oh yeah, you know, I could do that for you. Maybe it's I don't know. Maybe it's, get, like, you wouldn't four even have to leave the house. Week. I'd I'd just maybe do like clip-on earrings or something. Yeah, you know, you know, like, hurt. Like, well, not sorry, not clip-ons, like magnets or something. Mag yeah, they pinch too. But uh, it, all we do is freeze your ear, sterilize a needle, and get a potato. Well, but I, for mm -hmm. what is the potato for? Uh, have something behind your ear to hold it still so you oh. can pierce through. Yeah, I've I, almost done that so many nights. I, I did, that's how I got this one right here. Yeah, I'll, I'll I have that myself in college. I think I think Magnus would be fine. That, that's literally Aaron's outfit. Yeah. But, uh, I can't make that outfit. Oh, Aaron wore that. Yeah, that's that's Bergie. You guys know Bergie? Yeah. I don't remember fucking Bergie's lore at all, but I, I like Bergie. Uh, I like Egg Nips, too. Egg Nips. That's actually... I would wear that. They have some good obviously. options here. I'd wear that, It's, it's gonna be the one of the cheaper one ones. That one is adorable in the suit. I love it. Not not wearing a suit. I'm not... Sorry. I don't aspire to a life with a suit. I do love the loud cat shirt with a suit. Yum. <laughs> Quit sniffing over <laughs> representation. I'm yeah. gonna be simping over the dads, guys. I'm just I'd warning you. I, <laughs> egg nips are good, but this also has sweatpants. Okay, sweatpants then. Yeah, I like the cloud sweatpants. Yeah, I I feel like like I could see this happening. I could see I that. could see you wearing that. Yeah. Yeah. I could definitely see you wearing that. I've had Craig in my mind since this game came out. Uh, Who's Craig? Craig's, Craig's the guy we're gonna go after. He, the Asian, is he the one with the eyebrow slit? The Asian one. Yeah. Who's voiced by yeah. Nate wants to battle. Oh, I do oh, I, 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 Yeah. That's I, right. I, which is also why I like Damien in Monster Prom. Oh, he voices him too. Also, because he's just like a, a. Like. What would you. I don't know. He's hot. Yeah. Okay. I agreed. Like, like he's maybe a twunk. So he's, he's, he's kind of, kind of pretty, but kind of built. I, I don't think I noticed a cute Asian dad. You weren't looking hard enough. Uh, also, I don't know that we ever see ourselves, because I feel like I haven't seen... Uh, seen, like, you in this game. Like, besides this. I don't remember, but when I've watched nuts. people play it, it hasn't... On the game. I don't know. If, if, if Craig is like obnoxiously 
fit. Maybe I won't get him, I don't know. But he's definitely the cutest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what else to do for a name, you guys, but that's like what I did for Persona. Be that, Be that bad. Uh, you know, because I'm trying to maintain mystique and mystery. <laughs> okay, do you want to try voicing Amanda since they hated yeah, mine? Okay. <laughs> did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like it did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Oh, I guess we see ourselves in the corner. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. <laughs> no, that's, that's good. You like, can, you can like put emotion into your voice, unlike me, where I'm just like... Beat Boop Robot 5000. <laughs> I pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. I would totally be doing that. That's the, the coolest baby I've outside. ever seen. <laughs> the only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. Oh, we have a picture of you with sunglasses on. I'm sure you have plenty. As a baby. Cute. Yeah, I, they don't, like, have pictures of me from, like, age something up, because I just started to throw in the fit about it. <laughs> yeah. What I'm like, I'm like a, baby picture. I'm a cryptid. <laughs> you spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Nice. Halloween when you were maybe four. <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. And also red, apparently. <laughs> You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess Dragon. Oh, sure, I see it. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? You little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but not in a misogynistic way. <laughs> you saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. That's how you develop kinks. Yeah. Just the right. phrase seeing yep. yourself inside the dragon's mouth. Definitely my, my, repressed my, that memory. My Definitely a furry now. My kink dar went off. <laughs> uh, scaly, by the way. Oh, scaly, that's scaly. right. And this was you in your horse phase. Oh, no. Oh, man. Dad. I believe you named that plush horse Sir Hersington the Brave. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think that was his. Amanda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dad arms. <laughs> it's too cute, this is hurting me. <laughs> nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you and your ska band. Ouch, kid. You the ska like manifest. Ska. What was that? You, you look like you could be in a ska band. <laughs> yeah, well, that's, they, they know, uh, I think they know their audience. That's like where dads might exist. <laughs> The Scott Minus Manifesto had a chance back in the day. <laughs> I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. <gasps> no, Dad, that's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P until high school. Isn't that so true? There's so many Emmas. <laughs> that's a common name. I know, like six. <laughs> Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. I almost named you Emma. Dad, Emma R has been my best friend since I was seven. Give it, like, a little bit of effort. Oh, right. Emma P was the one who fucking peed everywhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, by the way, this, like... Oh, you it lets you fill in the blanks? No, oh, I'm no. just being a piss goblin. <laughs> that also checks uh, out. I, I was just gonna say that this, this actually isn't, like, an unrealistic depiction of me. Like... Especially the way I'm wearing my hair right now. Oh my I'm... god, it really actually looks a little Honestly, like you. Honestly, yeah. I could see you having that. So... Except it looks a lot older than you. But... I don't know if it looks that much older than me, though. I do. Okay, whatever. You got a baby face. Do and, I? Uh, yeah. Well, then maybe I am a twink after all. <laughs> if I if I shave. You've got better you shave than I do. I don't see a wrinkle on you. That's... Well, yeah, I'm dying in other ways. <laughs> Ooped your pants. There we go. <gasps> Dad, that was me. I did that. <laughs> oh. Probably have. OMG, you're not an anime twink IRL. I can't believe it. <laughs> oh, sorry, Allo. I also disappoint. <laughs> I don't have horns either. Although I am very horny. I'm 
Yes. Hmm. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> and I was having a sleepover with Emma R, who isn't Emma P. Eh? She never told anyone, though. True Blue, that Emma R. Eh? Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. The first photography award you ever won. Huh. Yeah, and it got us a $20 gift card to McFriday's. What? Okay, McDonald's plus Fridays. Yes. Yeah. I, just, I just had to like, process that. <laughs> and then you got food poisoning from the cheesy tostada blast. <laughs> I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with the Z. Dad. Poisoning. Dad! Still can't drive past McFridays without gagging. <laughs> Reminds me of your father. <laughs> Still proud of you, though. <laughs> Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Huh? Aww. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Aww. I finally decide to break the silence. Uh, yeah, probably adopted. Kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course, I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out, and I didn't know what to do. So I TikToked it, and I got a uh, huge fucking following, and that's how I pay the water bill. <laughs> but your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks at me directly in the eyes, the calmest I've ever seen him. He says, It's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Uh, her dad is fucking hot. Aww. You can't even you see, can't his see face. half his face. He was right, you know. That's you. I did. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, I'm dumb. I swear the picture here for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Ah. She pats me on the back and goes, "Ah." Huh. Come on, pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Huh. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Long before TikTok was a thing, so I guess, <laughs> I guess that pokes holes in my story. <laughs> hey, remember when I shattered the front window, play window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Hey, remember when I broke the back window playing... We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. Eh? And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Like the bed springs. <laughs> <laughs> That's your daughter you're talking about. Not with me. <laughs> Did I have to Somebody. Story? I actually broke a bed. Actually, I broke two Well, yeah, your, your fucking bed frame, like, the feet died. I broke whatever, right? that, and then I broke a friend's bed as a kid at a sleepover. Oh, I don't know. I haven't heard that. It was Are one you of jumping the, on it? No, it was one of the four posters. I was, like, 11. I was pretending to be a stripper, and I, like, <laughs> <laughs> and it snapped in half. <laughs> one of Nikki's beds or something. <laughs> It, it runs in the family, guys. We're all, uh, we're all chaotic. <laughs> I was 11. I was pretending to be a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> Memories to make and stuff to break. Okay. <laughs> to be fair, they were probably teaching you that you kind of dance. <laughs> yeah, I did some scandalous things as a child. We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart, but it stings a little bit to leave it behind. I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rearview mirror. So... So what? So sell me on our new cool plat, new cool new pad. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I clear my throat and do my best cheery, cheesy announcer voice. <clears throat> Nestled in a beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasure, but couches and the floor space where you can, yes, catch a wink, and maybe if you're lucky, catch a twink. 
<laughs> what a deal! I mean, if I s if sleep weren't for the week. Oh shit, I guess I'm weak as fuck. <laughs> you sleep more than anyone I know, other than myself, of course. <laughs> I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to? So I don't have to waste gas. And I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. Totally cringe. Ugh. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Not if you're gay. You still can't do it. <laughs> Not gonna... <laughs> Not gonna happen, Pops. <laughs> yeah, shit, did I, did, did I learn how to parallel park? I don't think I did. You did well, I think, parallel parking. Did what I? was that, Kirsten? I don't know. I don't. I haven't fucking driven a car in a year. I don't know what I cars are. I think it was are. you. I think it was when we were cramming to get you your license so you could drive to work. Okay. Or to the bus stop, and you did quite well parallel parking. It gives me so much anxiety. I hate it. Not gonna happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Hmm. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Hmm. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Same. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you're a real Don't you dare. geriatric <laughs> senior. Hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. <sighs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Eh? But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? First, we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Yeah! And with a swift... <laughs> I can't read chat notes. <laughs> and with the swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, Sweet Pea. Bravo with authority! Also same. <laughs> Who's saying I'm so proud? It's not clear. I am. It, oh. it, that's my monologue. My inner monologue. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. Huh. An ice cream sandwich. Sweetie. It's 10 a.m. <laughs> you <Did> know you... <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you for moving us to an area where the dog-to-person ratio is very high. I only want what's best for you. I hope you're prepared for the frequency at which I interrupt conversations to yell DOG in a rocket to a rocket way up. I mean, you do that a lot all... Hmm. Wait, false alarm. It was just a funny shaped rock. I was, I was thinking like, oh, it's just a fucking ugly baby. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to see real dogs so bad, let's go to that park around the corner. Yeah, I've definitely seen people walking strollers in this city and it's like cats in it. <laughs> yeah. I want to buy one. <laughs> Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, the flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in a stroller over there? Government operative. Mm. <laughs> We're on to you, baby. Yeah, real talk, though. Too nice, and you're going to run into probably like a lot of Karens. Mm-hmm. We walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Others chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Mom, why don't you do that? Heads up! Ow. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof! <laughs> a corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bounds up to me, wagging its tail. 
Wait, what's happening in chat? No, just talking about astrology and bussy, you know? <laughs> Normal That's, like, things. That's all I talk like, about, to be honest. <laughs> we do talk about bussy a lot. Good. <laughs> he runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Impart upon me your wisdom, tiny dog. <laughs> How long do I have left? <laughs> Not long. What's that? I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined for me long ago. I have no real agency in this cruel lifetime. You're right. I am the master of my domain. Your fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. You do the question. You keep doing oh. the question mark, Mama. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> <laughs> a guy in a Hawaiian shirt jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. The new technique. It's like disc golf, but the goal is my face. Looks like you're winning. Hey, chat, you know what else the goal is my face? Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Joe, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Yes. Ah. Yep. Hi. Hmm. Your dog's cool. Uh, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. I'm just reading chat again. Oh, I, I don't like it either, and Joe uses that to his advantage. D you also don't like bussy? I wasn't aware of that. Wait, what? Who doesn't like bussy? The word bussy. Oh, at least. the word. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't just keep my bussy to myself. I have to share it with all of you. <laughs> Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karam Karamazov, I suppose. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high school. How old is she? <laughs> Ten. She's a precocious little youngster. Jetix says, I hate it here. I want to go home. Alice says, I'm about to disintegrate into my bed. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> they just can't handle the power of my bus. <laughs> what? Whoa. Ah. My natural dad instinct kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening! Oh no. It's a battle. It's a Pokemon battle. Go on, Daisy! Tell him about yourself! Um, I... That's my girl! Amanda, get in there! Okay, okay. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Mom? Wow, congratulations! Daisy actually just won a statewide poetry contest. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old woman with her grocery bags. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president, too, of course. Oh, Barry voiced Brian, sure. Yeah, I, I think, like, most of the voice actors in this are, like, people that you might know. Uh, they, they, don't, they don't have, like, voice lines, but, you know, they do, like, the little kind of link noises, like, Jet oh, use oh. a full restore. Quick, use a full restore. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club. Or a computer lab. I, he's just making a Pokemon joke, by the way. Oh. I don't think I have oh, one in the store. Okay. <laughs> Yikes. Oh. 
Yeah, you know, every now and then they just kind of do like an, like, like an, ah. Can you do that again? Yeah, you can. <laughs> no, it's not supposed to be, ah. <laughs> Like an, ah. Uh, I'll see what I have for items. Child art. You unfurl your wallet to reveal a tiny copy of a drawing of a cornucopia Amanda did in the first grade. Mom? Cute! I was reading chat, sorry. Yeah, noise. <laughs> it, isn't, it isn't very impressive, but Amanda genuinely appreciates you holding on to it. Daisy sold enough candy bars this year to get the top prize. A canoe! You'd like that. We're talking about it next weekend. We're taking that out. How's that even possible? Amanda could barely get one of those sticky hand things. Uh, yeah, Narwhal, I'm still a huge Game Grumps fan. Uh, but I, I think I think Aaron and Danny maybe both, both voice somebody. I'm not 100% sure. Can't switch to obvious man has your only daughter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you pull a wrinkled copy of Amanda's last grade out of your back pocket. Dad. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch, maybe it is kind of weird. <laughs> Did I mention Daisy said her first word at 10 months? Daddy. <laughs> oh. Stop, Jesus. Amanda's was potty. So cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. I have to. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Aaron, Danny, Susie, and Mr. PhD himself. <laughs> yep. Yep. With a florist, you produce a band-aid from your pocket, take it to a knee, and start to apply it to him in his arm. <laughs> what are you doing, Dad? Being a protective parent. Fuck. Damn. Apparently I'm a weird dad. Pretty weird. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like, like, oh, I'm prepared. Daisy here has all of her adult teeth. Never had a cavity either. And she's got all of her adult teeth. Amanda self-consciously pushes her lips together to hide her teeth. <laughs> oh no. They're powerful. Uh, Amanda in all honors classes this semester. Dead. I lost the Pokemon battle. Really? Probably. It said Brian lost 10 points, not you. Yeah, but he now, his, now it's his turn. So oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teachers about having her skip a grade! Even Amanda kind of bristles at that one to lose oh. HP. Boy, it's been such a treat getting to meet you two. You don't want to date that, Dad. No, I don't, anyway. Ah, uh, do you have to add insult to injury by being such a gracious winner? Mom? Oh, so I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood? We just moved in. You live around here? Hey. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac down next to the coffee shop. Ah. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah. Daisy and I are in that little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscaped. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? <laughs> what a lovely place. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You'll have to stop by at some point. Yeah, definitely. Bye! Brian and Daisy walk further into the park with Maxwell happily trotting along in tow. Dot dot dot. Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Mm -hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. <laughs> Shame that didn't pan out. Could have majored in comparative horse studies. What are you comparing? You know what I'm comparing. I think we all know. <laughs> it's not too late to minor in horse creative writing. Too close to the truth, Dad. 
Uh, wrote a lot of horse fan fiction. <laughs> Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Level Up. <laughs> Brian is a good father figure, but not a good choice for Cave Wrecker. <laughs> you know, the cave. The Moist Cavern. The Moist Cavern. <laughs> we laugh off the horse up again, walk around the park a bit more, enjoying the day. <laughs> All the sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. Me, every day. <laughs> you slept for 14 hours. Exactly. I'm coming up short. <laughs> As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps come up behind us. You just keep doing all the dad's mom. Yo! Bro! Dude! I turn around and I'm oh, greeted by a familiar face. Oh, he's to us. a cutie. Yeah. yeah. Yum! Straight for that one. <laughs> Craig? Hmm. Mom! Oh! <clears throat> Bro! Bro. Hmm. Holy wow, I guess I haven't seen Craig in forever. Hmm. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Yeah. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act? Are you kidding me? He's fucking ripped. Amanda, this is my special friend, Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. You can imagine the kinds of things we got up to. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, big. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> Aw, thank you. The last time I saw you, I think you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny whist wrist and waves it around. River gurgles happily. Are you babysitting? Oh. Nah, dude. River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute we're rolling up to exams with bad hangovers and come on our pants, and the next we're both fathers. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> I was working out in California and just re relocated the business back to Maple Bay. No kidding. Amanda and I just moved to the side of town. How's Smashley doing? Hi. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. She actually still goes by Smashly, and, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news. We take turns taking care of River and the twins. It's all copacetic. Twins? You have three kids? Mm -hmm. Ain't life something, bro? Right? Stan Craig is a father of three. Hmm. Egg stand Craig? Call him that because of his egg stand shaped <laughs> penis. <laughs> oh. Not what a keg stand is. Oh. Haha. <laughs> yeah. It was my old college nickname. Yeah, I bet he is the kind of guy who calls you bro in the sack, and I'm here for that. Same. <laughs> uh, actually, d this doesn't get like. Like, I don't need to censor anything, right? I'm not. I, I'm under the impression that this isn't, like, that loot of a game. But let me know if it is. Uh, he got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Hmm. It's that thing where you do a handstand on a keg and then drink from the keg? Uh. Right. He was very good at it. Hmm. Ah, bro. I hate to be that guy, but I'm in the middle of my daily jog, and I really gotta keep up my heart rate. Brought River along for, you know, resistance training. I'm imagining now, like, a Naruto or DBZ character with instead of, like, weights and shit, they just have, like, a baby strapped to every <laughs> limb. <laughs> strapped to them. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you ruined my rate. Bro, you ruined my asshole. <laughs> Bro, ruin me. <laughs> you jog daily, I jog... Yearly. <laughs> On January 1st, when I promised myself I'm going to jog daily for the rest of the year, but give up after 30 minutes and just walk home. 
Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Ha ha ha, I don't know. Bro. Come on, it'd be fun. We could grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We could do a bro brunch like the good old days. All right, sure, sounds great. Oh. Great, let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. I'd say Craig is probably a top, but with three kids and an ex named Smashley, he probably likes to be whipped. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he got that scar. Oh. He, he says, you want to see how I got this scar? And then he takes you into his fucking sex dungeon. <laughs> Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in and jogs off. Can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Hmm. <laughs> Why is that? The Craig I knew is not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of cum for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda, he opened up a new jar of cum and then he drank it like it was a thing that normal people do. It was very amazing to watch. <laughs> and then I asked him what the hell he was doing and he said, and I quote, it's basically... Basically, basically a, a smoothie, cake. bro. Yeah, I had something there and I lost it. It's basically a smoothie, bro. That just works for Protein cake. Yeah. <laughs> Protein cake. Reset cum jar counter. Yeah. I feel like we talked about cum jars last night, probably. I mean, technically, you he's did not talk wrong. about cum jars last night. Yeah. Okay. I think. Yeah, I think that I did that, and then you showed up. It, it like immediately summoned mom. <laughs> talk about cum <laughs> summons knew. mom every time. <laughs> I'm the queen of inappropriate conversations. <laughs> <laughs> he jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I'll have plenty of time to reflect on how old I was. How fuck? How old I feel later? I keep trying to make jokes, and then my brain like 404s. <laughs> Amanda and I flop down onto the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Hmm. Too bad we're going to be putting my stuff right back in these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Huh? Aw, Dad, it's going to be okay. I'll be fine. I know, I know. It's just... You're my little girl. It's going to be weird not having you around. Uh. I'll come visit, and I'll text you every day. And I'll take lots of pictures. Uh. I mean, obviously, I'm a photography major. You promise? Huh. Of course. Are you going to be okay by, by your lonesome? I hate getting it on every night. Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. Or download Grinder again. Hey. A dog? Grinder? Yeah. Forget art school. I'll stay for that. Find some pussy to destroy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's going to take? Medium-sized dog. Handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it'll cost for me to give up on my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. <laughs> Amanda laughs. <laughs> Suddenly, a pile of envelopes slides through the mail slot. Speaking of college, <laughs> Amanda darts over to the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Yes. This is from McGowan College of Art and Design. Open it. Hmm. But I'm scared. It's just an envelope. Hmm. Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and rips the letter open with her teeth. We have a letter opener, but okay. Hmm. I hold my breath while Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What does it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah, blah, blah. Um, we... <gasps> her face drops. Regret to inform you that we are unable to offer you admission to McGowan College of Art Design. Bug bite somehow. Oh. Mosquitoes are already out. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, I haven't seen any yet. That's really sad. Amanda throws the letter on the coffee table. The bug bite or no, the college, the college application? No, yeah, the bug bite. <laughs> my, prob up. my problems are important. <laughs> I'm crying. I have a sad face for that. Oh. oh. oh I think sweet. Jen and Calcitrant are crying for Amanda. No, nah, they're crying for my <laughs> precious fucking gamer fingers. I, I, I can't be a pro gamer without my little thingies, guys. 
I know, bugs can't help but give me the big suck. They do. They're all coming. They all suck. <laughs> fake gamer twink, how dare you? <laughs> I'm not a twink or a fake gamer. <laughs> <laughs> Aloe keeps zoning in and out the weirdest times. <laughs> Did I summon you with talk about sucking me? <laughs> yeah? Oh. It's okay. I kind of saw it coming. I knew I shouldn't have put that experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions officer told me they just want to see portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I know how much work you put into your portfolio. Some other school is going to want to snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying that? I'm fine. Really. Her face says the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Oh, and before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are sleeping over tonight. Oh. So... You're gonna have some Emma RP. <laughs> <laughs> you need me out of the way because I'm painfully uncool? I would choose more delicate phrasing, but... yeah. Well, I'll have you know that I conveniently <laughs> already have plans for tonight, so you'll have the new place to yourself. Huh. Yeah? What are your plans? I'm gonna play Super Smash Bros. with Greg. I'm gonna put on a nice outfit and go tear it up on the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves. The lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running <laughs> man, the cutting man. You know, the ones all the kids these days are doing. I'm literally just making cum joke after cum joke. <laughs> Hmm. All right, but I'm not gonna come pick you up if you pull anything this time. Or anyone. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Not that one. <laughs> I'm wiped. Have fun with the Emmas. <laughs> we'll try to keep it down. Girl bussy, I think there's a word for that. <laughs> I know you're not going to, but I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> and don't forget that you have the meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. Oh, joy. Gussy. Gussy. <laughs> Just, oh, you said that. Uh, all right, Mr. Vegeta. <laughs> yep, totally remembered. I'll be there. Mm, Let's see. What are all the, I'm oh, sorry, I'm just looking at all the ussies in chat. Oh, wussy, sussy. Awesome. Night, Pops. I put on my pajamas and make myself a nice mug of mint tea to get her ready for bed. I can hear Amanda and her friends laughing from her room. I hope they have a fun night. I'm really glad Amanda has switched such sweet friends, even if I can never remember their names. <laughs> <Both> named Emma! <laughs> yeah. How hard is that? Just as I'm heading towards my room, the door hall. You're all making me fussy. <laughs> oh. Oh fuck, I have an exam today. <laughs> Allo, come on. No. He's fine. He'll he'll get it done. He did fine on his practical, I guess. Good. Even though he's up. Uh, you know Allo's in the UK, right? So he's up mm -hmm. at like fucking 5am or whatever to, to be here and simp for me. E. Which I appreciate. Yeah, I want my own simp army. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta be a Twitch streamer. <laughs> oh, actually, if if I do this for long enough and get big enough, you'll have some, just, if nothing else, because woman. Hell yeah. Woman on internet. Oh. Mom too. Titties. <laughs> <laughs> you, you guys heard it here, titties. <laughs> Who could possibly need anything for me right now? Do they know what time it is? I have pajamas on. I walk over to the door and open it. Hello? <laughs> you. I know, right? <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at my door, brandishing a plate of cookies. It's 3 a.m. Isn't it 3 a.m.? Yeah. Hello? Hi. I know it's kind of late, but I baked way too many cookies, and I just can't have these in the house, or I'll eat them all. You know his wife has a live, laugh, love son sign somewhere. They're in a cult. And he's way too preppy. I think, I think literally they might be in a cult. Are they actually? I think like all good dating sims, there's maybe like some weird secret dark thing 
somewhere in this. Although that, that <laughs> might have gotten cut. I love you, Jedek. <laughs> it might have gotten cut. I'm not sure. You got yeah. You guys definitely do platonically simp for my mom, which she appreciates. Oh, I love Aww. it. She was saying earlier. I feel she, very loved. Yeah, she was saying earlier she felt very loved by you guys, so that's cool. And I appreciate that you guys are so sweet to her. Didn't get cut. It's a gag ending. Okay. Cool. So if we play long enough, we can get to the vault. Thank. Yes. Oh yeah. So that a distinction, mom. His name is Joseph. So mm. when it's Joseph and not Joe, you have to read it. Oh. Oh. You sure? Yes. Okay. Oh. Where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. Oh yes. Hi. I'm Joe. That's what my name is. This won't be, <laughs> this won't be confusing at all. Oh. I saw the moving van and I thought I'd do the neighborly thing and bring you some. My daughter Christy wanted me to let you know she baked them herself. The fuck. Joseph leans in and whispers. Between you and me, she just sprinkled in the chocolate chips. <laughs> Good one. We both share a laugh. Kids, right? They're fucking dumb. Baking yeah. sin. Baking sin? What? Yeah. Just sprinkling on chocolate chips? Are you fucking kidding me? You gotta mix that shit in. Oh, yeah. Amanda pokes her head out of her room and immediately hones in on the cookies. Wow, cookies, huh? Oh, I guess this this is who Aaron voices, apparently. Oh, sure he would. He voices Amanda. So nice to no, meet you. No, not Amanda, Joseph. <laughs> oh, no, but he always loves to voice the girls. Yeah, but stupidly, not la not for, like, a product that's being released. Okay, okay. <laughs> uh, Alo, if you're saying what's... If you're saying what's that to Aaron, he's the host of Game Rumps. If you're talking about the gluten development, I don't really know what that is either, but gluten is in cookies. It's in wheat flour, other things too, but wheat flour is a big culprit. Joseph hands her the plate of cookies with a smile. Oh. Dot dot dot. <laughs> well, thanks for the cookies! Yeah. Makes it chewy. It's what These makes nuts. bread rise, too. Gotta have the gluten for the... to trap the air, because it's stretchy. Oh, Kirk, I don't know what he just said, but that... I could... I could hear the air and noises. Yep. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm -hmm. Amanda, come, Ben. She's gone. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. <laughs> Mom. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. <sighs> Children in general are just tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to try and raise more than two. <laughs> I have four kids. Of course, he does. <laughs> What have you done? Oh, uh, I meant... Don't worry, you didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met in my social life is already in a tailspin. I wonder if it's too late to move out. <laughs> Cal. So what I'm hearing is you're fertile. <laughs> <laughs> Daughters are tough, I have 36 of them through three ways. Not including my cre creepy blonde twins that have white eyes. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, okay. Dang. Is the missus around? Mister, actually. And er... No, not anymore. He died. Uh... uh yeah. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's alright. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a moment, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Oh. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? Oh, so you won't be joining us at our Chick-fil-A luncheon? Yeah. <laughs> I think we know we all know exactly the kinda the kind of vibes this guy's putting off. I look at Joseph quizzically but comply. After a second I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Oh. Hey, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dead spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue for the cul-de-sac, and I'd love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What do you say, pal? Oh. That sounds great. My daughter Amanda and I would love to stop by. Also, four kids is a perfectly normal amount of children to have. We shake hands to seal the deal. 
Well, neighbor, I'll let you get to bed. See you at 3 p.m. on Saturday. Kill him for name dominance. <laughs> there can only be one. <laughs> yeah. thing, neighbor. There can only be one. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna fuck him, so I'll kill him. Yeah, he's, he's not... Yeah, he's not our type. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. Huh. Hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at a church down the street. Narwhal says you know he has a tight ass. Not with the stick shoved up it. I was gonna say, like, he probably does for, have for a the presumably <laughs> very LGBT audience of this game, like, who's gonna fuck this guy unless you just, like, nut instantly when you see a blonde or something? Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. Wink. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. You just said wink out loud. <laughs> yeah. And with that, Joseph's gone. You seem nice. Your cactus is kind of phallic there, buddy. Cactus with one ball. Uh, yeah. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and cookie in hand. That was the smoothest recovery I've ever seen. I should be taking notes. <laughs> See? You're already fitting in great. Uh, legit question, is the target audience LGBT? Yeah. I think... Oh, you mean for this game? For this game, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. I think decently, yes, because I know a lot of the devs were. Uh, so I would say, like, LGBT slash Game Grumps fans, obviously, because if you stick... Like, like, Game Grumps is big enough that if you just stick their name on something, that's going to attract a certain number of people. Uh, which, at that point, that's probably a lot of straights. But beyond that, I think... Right, because, right, like, it's, it's a fucking dad dating game that's really gay. Where'd those cookies go? Oh. They're gone. I'm sorry. If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. So you ate all of them anyway? The Emma's helped. <laughs> right. Well, kiddo, I'm gonna go catch some Pokemon. <laughs> Hurry, the Pokemon are getting away. <laughs> <laughs> I run down the hall towards... Why am I fucking running? I run down the hall towards my bedroom. Just run sleep. I'm hot on the trail. I've got 12 hours of quality sleep if it's the last thing I do. As I shut the door behind me, Amanda's laugh echoes through the hallway. <laughs> oh, that was, the phone. I thought that was the audio fucking around again. No. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early bird. Still want to work out? This is Craig, by the way. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m.? Who does 6 a.m. anymore without realizing I have to back to sleep? Whoops, my vibrator's going off. <laughs> <laughs> off again. Hey, bud. Still want to get your slow on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. And you know I know what you're going to say about yeah. slow tearing up. I was going to say maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe tear up some other things. <laughs> when you sleep with the butt plug in. <laughs> Oh man, and it, and it vibrates when your phone goes off. Well, yeah, because they, they have apps that do that. God. <laughs> God, the last thing I want to do right now is work out, but it's Craig. I do want to catch up. Yeah, you want to hit him. That's <laughs> what you want. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go to the gym, which is the thing I would never want to do, uh, just so we can hit the bus. Yeah. Hey, my man, I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. After a few seconds, my vibrator goes off again. Sure thing. Meet me at the gym. I stretch and my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep with the vibrator in. <laughs> I throw off my blanket and hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with a blanket. Aww. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I hope she didn't notice that I had a fucking buffalo again. <laughs> I reluctantly brush my teeth. They're all the only clothes that I own that are even kind of gym appropriate and head out. Oh my god. This would be just like you being dragged to the gym. <laughs> the neighborhood is quiet and serene this early in the morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with gum. 
<laughs> Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out front, stretching. He, of course, spots me and waves enthusiastically. Oh. Hey, bro. Good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped up as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee before I left. Hmm. You ready to kick some butt? I'm ready to do something to a butt. I get the feeling this is going to be less of me kicking a butt and more the gym kicking my butt. But I can handle it with you here. Ooh. Dude, bro, that means a lot. Bro. We head into the gym and I'm immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half. <laughs> it seems like Craig is friends with all of them. Oh. Maybe I should have used a butt plug. <laughs> He high fives and finger guns all of the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could, would, could and would steal my lunch money to spend on protein shakes. Oh. <laughs> Come on, bud, let's warm up. We head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This is a decent place to be walking. So I know we are on the treadmills. <laughs> Mama. Sorry, I was reading. <laughs> You gotta do your yeah. important one word line. Yes. <laughs> Game bang in the sauna after with Craig and all his buddies. Finger guns Craig <laughs> by. And those over there are ellipticals. Very good. What's all this other stuff? <laughs> Craig laughs. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. I watch as a dude in a muscle tee flexes a muscle I didn't know existed on a machine I think was once used to process grain into flour. <laughs> Ellipticals are called cross trainers in the UK. You guys always have to have a different word for everything. Cross trainers are a kind of shoe here. Yeah, they'd probably call them, call, I don't know, what do you guys call shoes? I don't know, fucking Timmy's. Timmy's and Jimmy's. <laughs> trainers. Is trainer is trainers shoes or is that like pants? Trainers I thought were tennis shoes. Trainers are shoes too. I love being a special British boy. <laughs> he is a special British boy. Yeah. Shoes are shoes. <laughs> Look scary, but they also have a purpose. That's just BDSM. Yeah, cross trainers are also people who don't shut up about their exercise routine. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Why is that guy doing that to himself <laughs> in public? <laughs> and can I get in on that? That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? Jacking it. Training to crush people's skulls with his thighs. <laughs> He's trying to make his thighs so strong that he could crush people's skulls with them. Bro. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. <laughs> nice. Ooh, Craig. The eggplant emoji. With their eggplant emoji. Yeah. Craig is turning up the speed of it. I better do the same. Yeah, flip flops or thongs. That's a weird one. How uh how long have you been doing the buff thing? Mm -hmm. Couple years. And what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? Oh. Oh, I coach my twin softball team. That counts as both dadding and buffing. Oh. Ah, uh, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I fucking stream video games. I spend most of my time in front of the mirror, admiring my Adonis like figure that I've worked so hard to sculpt. <laughs> Hmm. But that I mean lay horizontal and watch bad television. Other than the bad part, that's not inaccurate. <laughs> oh. We're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. I look over to Craig, who hasn't even broken sweat. I was doing this so effortlessly, I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. Hmm. Hey! Remember when my fish died in college?
No, I don't like the story. <laughs> oh my god, is he really bumping up the speed again? I guess I better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is very fast. I'm becoming Sonic. Oh. And we were at that party, and you vowed to make me feel better. You tell me to create a distraction, so of course I do a sick keg stand to get everyone cheering. And then your pants fell down and everybody cheered even harder. And then I tried to steal a fish from the fish tank at the party with my bare hands like an idiot. Hey! And then you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic, so you run up to me post keg stand with a dying dirty fish in your hands that you scooped off the ground and you're yelling at me that we have to leave. Hey! So we're running out of a frat party with a fish and trying to give it mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. And we get him home, and we get him into a bowl of water, but the prognosis was grim. And the next day, he's... alive and well. Hey! They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Ridge U. And they never... will... I shoot <laughs> off the end of the treadmill and crash into the wall. <laughs> Jesus, that hurts. Hey! Dude! Bro! Are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. I'm... fantastic. I managed to stand up and rub my back. It doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. Oh, man. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. Oh. You sure? Yeah. Oh. All right. Well, here. I brought you this. Frank hands me a shaker bottle full of a thick <laughs> oh, white shit. liquid. I stare at it with what might be apparent distaste. Hmm. It's a protein shake, bro. I made it myself. Oh, thank you. Fresh tummies. <laughs> Fresh tummies. I'm thinking of you and filled it. <laughs> He wants me to drink it. Oh boy, here goes. I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. Did you have pineapple for dinner? <laughs> Bro. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. Bro. Let me know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we can try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. Good one. Well, I'm gonna go put some ice on this everything. I'll see you around. I leave the gym feeling ashamed. Greg used to order delivery from the pizza place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me, literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you did hear mom you say fresh gummies. You did hear fresh gummies. <laughs> put, put it on the quote list. Preserve it. Preserve it in a jar. I get home and lie down on the couch. It hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. Oh no, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Oh, we have to go to, like... Yeah! I forgot about that, so there you go. <laughs> it's... I'm, 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 like, in canon. <laughs> Shoot, it's 3.55. I'm supposed to be at Amanda school in five minutes. I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. <laughs> Dad tip, go ask your mother. <laughs> I arrive at Amanda's school and check in at the front desk. They give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully nobody will notice. I check my watch and am relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing at his locker and approach for help. How are you doing, fellow kid, I say, <laughs> turning my baseball cap backwards. <laughs> Is 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 the shit bushin? Bussin? Sheesh. <laughs> do do your do your friend sheesh ever? No, I don't think I'd hang out with my friends if they sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where Mr. Vegeta's classroom is? The youth turns around and looks me up and down oh, with heavily like lined him. eyes. That's probably, a child, he's Mark. probably not eighteen, so uh, okay. Well he looks older than eighteen. I like his style. <laughs> Vampire's kid, yeah, probably is. Yeah. Oh, I... 
Come on, kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vegeta? I don't know, have you tried the exit? A dick. <laughs> okay, wise guy, are you gonna help me or not? Sorry, fine. Up those stairs and to the left. Can't miss him. I head up the stairs and walk around, unable to find Mr. Vegeta's class anywhere. After a couple minutes of searching, I head back downstairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. I get back to where that low rent Gerard Way is standing, fully ready to give him a piece of my mind, when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom next to his locker. Oh. You keep doing the dad's mom. Ooh. Yeah, right? Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? He actually kind of looks like dad. He does a little. Could be why I find him attractive. Like old pictures of dad. If he was like really tanned. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't think he's tanned. I think he's just a person of color. But... I think, well, yeah. no, I'm saying if, if our dad, yes, if our dad was tanned. he's very white. Right. Yes, our dad is so pale. Sigh, fine, Mr. Vegeta. Hmm? Sure, Mr. Vega, he's Hispanic. Okay, sure. Wow. Jed, please rate this dad. <laughs> now I'm officially ten minutes late. I glare at him as he walks away. Teacher your dad is very hot. We're not cool. Where's the option to date the goth twink? Uh, that's in Camp Buddy. Do you know what Camp Buddy is? Yeah, we, Aloe. We've I've talked been, about that several times. I it's, get wanting to date the goth twink. It's it's a... I want to be a goth twink. <laughs> if I were a teenager again, I'd hit that. Uh, Camp Buddy is a technically everybody is 18 game where they look like they're probably not. Yeah. They're, they're like 14 yeah. or something. But the art style is nice. Okay. So I might play it at some point when I have like plausible deniability and I can like be like chat forced me to. Mm-hmm. Fair enough. For, for like a sub goal or something. Oh. You must... Oh, that's you. Mama. Sorry, I was just swallowing. <laughs> you, must... <laughs> <laughs> you must be Joe. This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Oh. Mr. Vegeta leads me in and I take a seat in one of the comically small students' desks in the back. Is there some kind of joke about Vegeta? Just, it's a Dragon Ball character. Oh, okay. I did it once and I'm sticking with it. Okay, got it. Uh, I might get stuck in this. Hmm. Alright, where were we? Now who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's Catcher in the Rye? Hmm. Yes, Colin? Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart noise. Hmm? The whole class erupts in laughter. Clearly they have no fucking idea what comedy hmm. is. Alright. Alright, everybody. Very funny, Colin. Please sit down. Hmm? Now, Holden Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that... The bell for the end of the period rings. All the students immediately get up and make a break for the door. What? Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on page 194 in your textbook. Nobody's listening. Hmm? Or not, I guess. I hope Vegeta asks me some lit questions, too. I hope they're lit AF. Mr. Vegeta turns to me and sighs. Hmm. Middle schoolers, right? Wait a minute. Oh. Why, why is he seeing middle schoolers when... When this guy's daughter is about to graduate and go to college. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. It seems very weird. Of course, we had I, diffs when I was in high school. I mean, I'm assuming she's not in this class right now, so it's, you know, like, he, yeah, maybe it is a split thing or he, yeah. you know, like. But I think we had separate teachers. for So it's because they were rebuilding, the, they were building a new junior high. So we actually had a split shift and I had to go really fast walking early in the morning to high school. Yeah, or maybe they don't know how children work. But, I, I, I like that headcanon. I like that That they headcanon. were just like, you kids, what does a kid even do? And so they're just like, middle school to college, that sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Amanda gets an A. Oh, here you go. Yeah. Don't, oh, don't you teach high schoolers? Hmm. Okay. Both, you know, budget cut. 
Right. Hmm. Thanks so much for coming in. I like your style. Oh. No problem, Mr. Vegeta. Hmm? Please, call me Hugo. Ah. Uh... I don't normally do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright student, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. Wait, what? What's going on? Eh. Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. She's not completing assignments and has been doing rather poorly on tests. I'd normally chalk this up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. Eh. I just wanted to ask. Is everything okay at home? Uh, yes, Narwhal. Aaron did drop out of high school because he, like, wasn't feeling it. And his parents were like, you do you. Uh, and clearly he has made it for himself, so it all worked out. I haven't noticed anything different about her, but she always tends to put on a happy face no matter what. Hmm. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values you a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road... Uh, uh. I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know, Hugo. Hey! Anytime. On my way out, I stopped, thinking for a moment. I turned to Hugo. Hey, Hugo. Ah. Yes? They ever catch that rye? Oh. Yes. Ooh. He liked that one. He liked that one. I leave the classroom and make my way out of the school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well for me. She's always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda must be done with classes for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home, and maybe I could talk to her about what's going on. Huh. I pull up to the carpool, and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Mr. Vegeta and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time? I don't know who that is. Let's, let's Bam! Bam! I still don't know do who that is. For me. He's a chef. We'll, we'll either say uh, Spider Twink or Liz Gillies, because I keep fucking talking about her Ooh. all the time, and they keep accusing me of being straight. No, she's definitely, like, the one person you can be straight I, for. Like I said, I'd try anything once, but... Uh, oh, Jetic says no, that's Emerald. Oh, that is Emerald. Okay, but my, it's Mario Batali, but he is a, the, the he's fat, a chef. The fat Italian chef who wears Crocs. I knew he was fat. <laughs> Who's this girl you're talking about? Liz Gillies. Uh, Jade from Victorious. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. If, if slash, like, maybe when I ever do drag, because I feel like I'll do drag at least once in my life, like, she would be, like, my idol for that. Yeah, I want to be. I want to fuck her, I want to be her. I know, I bet you'd fuck the shit out of oh her. Oh my god, I would. Well, she'd fuck the shit out of me, but, you know, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> Daily reminder that Joe is a straight... No, I'm not! <laughs> no, he's not. I'm pretty hungry. Can we grab some dinner? Sure thing. Does that sound good to you, mm -hmm. food court? Yeah, sure. Why the mall? Can a dad take his daughter to the mall? Will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing, singular. Sounds like a deal to me. Oh. If you simp over a chef, it better be Guy Fieri. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Take me to play, but help me. Meanwhile, he's just an illiterate straight boy. No! <laughs> no, 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 no. And I think it's the artist in him that appreciates the beauty of some women. Yeah, but, well, but I mean, I've, I mean, I've, I've also said that, just, like... Women can be hot, whether you want to fuck them or not. If if she came up to me and said, like, hey, let's fool around, I'd give it a try. You know, you know like, I, I, that's what I said before. I, I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be, like, the gay side of, like, 
I know what my sexuality is and I'm blah 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 yeah. blah. Like, try it. Try everything at least once. Yeah, there you go. Guy theory is just the definition of chaotic versus energy. <laughs> I guess. I've, I've literally never thought about Guy Fieri in a sexual connotation. <laughs> Women are amazing. Women are terrifying. Both are equally true. Both are equally true. Yeah, Jedek, you said that before. <laughs> <laughs> We drive in silence for it. I can't imagine what's so scary about them. I mean, have you seen them? <laughs> I like them, but like, you know, they're, they're the, scary looking. They're the movie teeth. Yeah, yeah. I read that book. It was very scary. I mean, you know, I've got this vivid imagination, so it was very scary. You bleed for a week every month and don't die. No animal can do that. It, animals have periods, don't they? Yes, they do. Dogs do it, but they only do it twice a year. Okay. But yeah, all animals do. Or all mammals do. Yeah. Once a month it does seem excessive. I feel like, like yeah. period you know, like uh a couple times a year that sounds a little bit more a little bit more reasonable. Yeah, not fun. Don't recommend. I want a woman who looks like she can toss me across the room. Same. We drive in silence for a short while, Amanda plays the game on her phone, I should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because sometimes that's what kids do. And that's okay, but also sometimes it's good to have the parents' perspective, because, you know, maybe the parents have also dealt with similar situations. Mm. And maybe they're a little cooler than you give them credit for. Probably not, though. <laughs> anyway, what I'm trying to say is that it's good to share. I love you. Have you been reading my tweets? You have a Twitter? Mm. What? No, never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegeta said that you haven't been participating in Saiyan training and that you're not turning things in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fine, Pops. Senioritis and all that. I thought you liked Mr. Vegeta's class. Okay. It's fine. He's fine. We pull up to a stoplight and I, Amanda, she's still sexting. Just, I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Dad. Uh-huh. I can tell that whatever it is, she doesn't want me knowing about it. That's frustrating. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed that you guys aren't going to the same school? Yep. Hmm. Amanda keeps testing. Test. Fuck. <laughs> Texting. She stifles a laugh. What's so funny? Uh, it's... I, I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Noah. Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school? Hmm. Yep. You're very good at being a teen. I know, you remember it. Do you like Noah? <laughs> what? Yeah, and then you have me, and I wasn't good at being a teen even when I was a teen. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no! Dad! Ugh. I don't think you'd get it. Me to Joe whenever I send him even the group chat. Yeah, you... <laughs> Aloe has some real, like, deep-fried Gen, Gen Z shit <laughs> that I don't get. And then whenever I do try to be hip with the kids and talk about how how bussin' a thing is, he gets upset. <laughs> There's just so many bussin' things. No cap. <laughs> I can't believe you would... Dad. Dad. I mean, jeez. <laughs> Sheesh, even. Sheesh! <laughs> oh, hello. Why would you? <laughs> Ugh. Gross. Sorry, sorry, just asking. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Hmm. Okay, okay. Jeez. Sheesh. <laughs> this is going well. Well, good talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns up the radio. I guess that conversation is over. 
to the mall then. What what is what is Let's Go to the Mall today from? I have I have that in my head. It's like a song, right? Yeah, I, I like I know like those words of the song, and that's it. No fucking clue. We arrive at the mall, a big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's kind of dead, but that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner, like Taco Bell. Hell yeah. Mike keeps peer pressuring me to have Taco Bell. I want Taco Bell. I do too. I might I might need to break my fast sometime soon. Language, Missy. Heck yeah. Better. Did you say fuck yeah? Hell yeah, I think. Hell yeah, hell yeah. You know, because this is a Christian stream. We can no. have, have those swears. There's no divorce, why are you bringing drinks? We approach the food court and evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My butthole burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks happy to be here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped in sugar? Yes. Bread with cheese? Yes. <laughs> or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? Uh, I'll call Craig and he can inject me with something. <laughs> I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? He takes my hand with a grin. Okay. We're gonna need a hot dad at the mall, aren't we? It would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. Uh, here's my hot take for the day. People, like, 90% of people who have nachos have, like, shit nachos, where it's just, like, shitty chips with, like, the, like, fake orange cheese on it. Yeah, rubber cheese. Whereas, like, when I do nachos, I do kind of, like, uh, how, like, Texans do Frito pie. So I have, like, chili and chips and salsa and cheese and maybe jalapenos, maybe beans. And stuff it's like shredded that. cheese. Yeah. It's, not it's actually melted. Yeah, yeah, like, cheese. like, actual cheese that's distributed to yeah. gently caress the rest of and the meal. lots of meal. jalapeno. Yum. And a craving jalapeno. Buddy's trying to get in and come to bed. Aww. We'll be fine. Poor Babu. Yeah. We order a giant pile of chips and unnaturally, yeah, there we go, unnatural orange cheese from a very <laughs> unenthusiastic <laughs> and possibly stoned teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig in. Ah. These are bad. These are very bad. But also strangely delicious. Mm. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent cheesy goodness together <laughs> until we're all out of nachos. So, something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain <laughs> memes to me? <laughs> Allo, Allo, quick, explain memes. Which meme? All the memes? Aww. Amanda sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Aww. Dad, it's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that gets less funny the more people do it. So the problem is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all of us youths have already done the joke to death. This is Joe and Alice pull attack. <laughs> <laughs> and what's worse is that the movies and TVs and video games will try to jump in on a meme train, but it just gets based but it's just based on how long it takes them to make them. But the meme will be long dead by the time it comes out, so it just dates it and it isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? <sighs> Dad, please. Hmm. Anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Wanna go to that goth store? Hmm. What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as anti-establishment despite being an exact representation of the establishment? I don't know what story you're talking about. A hot topic? Yes, hot topic. Hey Amanda, <laughs> what are those? You know, the one where you can buy chain wallets and it's basically an assault on what people fought so hard against in the punk, the punk and hardcore movements of the 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. Dude, you gotta be more specific. There's like 80 of those. The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one. <laughs> Cold subject. He told you it was hot topic. Yeah. <laughs> Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her. She makes a beeline for the back. I wish they had fucking skull rugs. I know. The one we can't say we for can legal make reasons. You one. I, well, I don't need a skull rug. I just want hot topic to have that. There it is. You can still kind of see the outline. I'm so proud. Speech. 
Amanda, that barf was totally bussin'. <laughs> you bust all over the place. <laughs> oh yeah, warm subject. We can't call it hot topic. Warm subject, that's a good one. <laughs> Speech, 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 speech! Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting. Oh. Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. <clears throat> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate a historic movement that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda and level up a too much blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. <laughs> After begging her father to take her to Dead Goth and Beyond to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all, all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. It was totally bussin'. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. Hmm. Amanda is moved. She begins clapping, low at first, then faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Ooh. Oh, hey, Shade Wallet. While Amanda pussies herself, looking at band <laughs> t-shirts, I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for a dad to look at at Dead Goth and Beyond, I disagree. I actually kind of like Dead Hot Topic. Dead Goth and Beyond! Yeah, I love Hot Topic. Definitely still kind of shop there sometimes. That's where I get most of your shirts, Joe. Yeah. They have comfy shirts, and that's the most they important thing. They have comfy thing. shirts and lots of anime. Because I'm, uh, I'm like a comfort princess. Yeah. Gotta have soft. There's a big cardboard box of marked down items. It's full of Funko Pops. I'm pretty sure $4 of purple eyeliner is a good deal, I think. I wonder if I would look good in purple eyeliner. Hell yes, I would. Joe admits being a pillow princess. Oh, look, this is very important to me. I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. You want me to be the cashier too? Ah, uh, I can be the cashier. It's a fucking funny voice. I can see that. I was trying to. Uh, that's, I don't know what <laughs> I was doing. I was trying to do Kermit actually, but I thought it was like, really bad. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you, dude. I just work here. <sighs> Listen, when I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However, when I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage or dressage. There, like dressage. dressage. There was dressage. <laughs> like for horses, it's dressage. Please, please, yeah, please, like do do like like an oh. Uh. Uh, <laughs> listen, when yeah. I bought this online, the website said this blouse was Victorian inspired. However. When I received it, it clearly held the trademark of Edwardian dressage. The, the, this is like fucking Oni's voices in the Harry Potter cartoons. <laughs> like, it's Leviosa, oh, not uh, Leviosa. <laughs> Wingardian Leviosa. Oh. Leviosa. Uh, what was the other thing I was going to say? Fuck. Oh, uh, <laughs> the something, the Victorian inspired stuff. She, mom had a thing recently where she kept saying like French provincial. Oh, she was talking about, about furniture or something. Oh, yeah. And, and, I, and then my brain took that and jumped off that and was thinking like Effie from Hunger Games. And she's like, fucking mahogany, but it's mom. And she's like, fucking French provincial. <laughs> That's accurate. Uh. Do you want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave if I give you a coupon? <laughs> Is there a manager present? People have to know what they're. Buying. I am the manager. Huh. I see. Well, it would seem that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by Pope. Whatever, dude. The man whirls around and storms out, his literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they are Victorian inspired or Edwardian in nature. Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh no. Hey, Dadtron5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Amanda plops the shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. I love your hair. Hmm. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda up. 
radiating hatred. I hand her a 20. So, what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll pull something. That's Damien. He's here all the time. He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She oh, the cashier's a girl. <laughs> yeah, I know, whatever. Sorry. I already, I I already picked that. the voice. <laughs> yeah. She hands Amanda her bag and it's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. Amanda and I sit on the couch trying to find something to watch over bowls of ice cream. Huh. Oh, cool. Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Trackers is on. Your favorite, right? <laughs> Oh, hell yes. They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Eh? Also, the trucks are haunted. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Hallow and Flint Dogbone, the twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo, find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh. Oh no! The ghost done got control of the truck! He steer them! I can't steer on them here, damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with them spirits. Flint, we're about to die. I almost got it. If you listen carefully, it sounds like it's saying, y'all are gonna die. Huh? That's because we are about to die, you. <laughs> this is art. The episode ends and Amanda excuses herself to go and start arguments on the internet. <laughs> I stay up a little longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint dogbone after their disastrous ice road accident. Afterwards, I crawl into bed, look at porn for several hours, and then get a good night's sleep. <laughs> uh, how late are you staying up? Because it's about 10. What day is it? What day Third is day. Shit, I have to... <laughs> <laughs> chat chat didn't energy. know what day it was either. <laughs> Damn it. I can play a little bit longer, but then I gotta go. Okay. Morning, sleepyhead. That's me. Five more minutes. Get that news. You've never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Fine. We have cereal for breakfast and spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting the tiny manuals. We're able to put together a few shelves in one desk, but I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase. So, you excited for the cookout today? If there's food, I'm excited. I'm all over those terrible store-bought sugar cookies that everyone brings to parties. Mm. Yeah, those are bad. Which means there are more for me. Don't you want to meet some of the people in the neighborhood? All the hot dads. I'll probably end up standing comfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope nobody talks to me. Oh. Dad, you're a beautiful work in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge from the cocoon. Eh? The social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be late. Huh? What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're going early just because you said that. I head out the door and Amanda reluctantly follows. We walk across the street to Joseph's house with the store-bought veggie plate. I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Hmm. I guess we're not as early as we thought, as we thought we were. Joseph's backyard is already packed with people and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler and adults chat in small clusters. I set our veggie plate down on a table next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph. I wave to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms wide open. Welcome! I'm so glad you two are here! Yeah, Calc, I also zeroed in on the smell of hot dogs. <laughs> and you brought veggies! <laughs> Let me introduce you to my family. Kids, come on over here! This is Chris, my eldest. I fucking hate this shit. Like, like, my family. Yeah. Mm hmm. Eh. It's uncomfortable for every. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Just. <laughs> oh, I should. Okay. Hi. Oh. This is Christian and Christy. Right. All they're his, twins. All his kids are, are fucking have Christ in their name. Well, they're all Chris. Technically, Whoa. yeah. They stare creepily and say nothing. Oh. Yeah. 
And of course, there's our youngest, Krish. Wait, where is Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh my God, Joseph it's Mary and, Mary. and Joseph. <laughs> yeah. I kid you, Dad, is an extreme twink. I guess. I, do, do you not age out of being a twink eventually? I feel like we've talked about this, but I don't remember what the consensus was. I would not call him a twink. Oh. Oh, yeah, she looks like... Oh, and how could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? She looks like someone cool, she like, pretending to be Christian. Yeah. Uh? Joseph pecks her on the cheek. She smiles. Ben Shapiro's sister. Ah, oh, Mary, sweetheart. Did you put Krish to bed? Ah. You want to do Mary too? Me? Mom. Mom. Okay. And she's an adult woman. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to go look for him. Hmm. What? You'll have to. And then we see him run by with a knife, like the, like the TikTok or the Vine or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. Oh. Mary. This is our new neighbor, Joe, and his daughter, Amanda. Ah. I'd shake your hand, but I have a glass of wine that I need to tend to. Yeah, Mary's. I'd tend to her. Yeah. I love her. <laughs> I'd tend to her. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. Nice to meet you, Mary. <laughs> Charmed. Well, I have to go over there now. <laughs> Ha ha ha. My wife has a wonderful sense of humor, but please, you two enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. Yeah, Mary's not so thrilled to be married. So. Here, let me introduce you around. <laughs> Have you met Matt yet? Who? <laughs> hey, Matt. Come and meet our new neighbors. Oh. Oh. <laughs> 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 this is Joe and Amanda. Ooh. <laughs> Amanda and I will give him a wave. Oh, oh I have to be Matt too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> You're all the dad. Yes. I'm all the dad. I'll ask, do you want to be a dad? <laughs> okay. uh, I don't know if I can do it. Oh. Uh, hey, I'm Matt. Nice to meet you too. Matt runs the coffee shop down the street. He bakes a mean carrot cake. Ooh, and he bakes, too. Oh, fuck. And look awesome. at that sleeve. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> Matt grins sheepishly. He also knows everything about music. His record collection takes up a whole wall of his house. That's me, the music guy. That's a bit of an understatement. He also used to be in a... Oh. Uh, <laughs> I'm just the music guy. Always stoked to discuss music, uh, tunes and stuff. Oh, that's so cool! I love music. <laughs> Matt's ears seem to perk up. Hey. Oh yeah, what kind of stuff do you listen to? J-pop. <laughs> J-pop. Dead rock, you know, with guitars, drums, lyricism about growing older and seeing the world changing before your eyes, and you don't know how to deal with it. Hmm. Buddy. I relate to that. Hey, yeah. Uh... Cool. All right. Now, uh, was it one of them, Joseph? I don't know. I might have done the wrong voice. Matt stands there for a second. So. Hey. Right. Cool. Hey, yeah. Uh... Well, I'll uh, be making the rounds. Feel free to stop by later. Hmm? Is he as afraid of people as you are? He might be. <sighs> This is Robert. He lives just across the way. A haggard man nursing a glass of whiskey eyes me up and down. Damn it. You too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, I'm Joe. It's nice to meet you. He takes a long swig of his drink. Charm. Hey. Joe's, Joe and his daughter just moved in next door. Revolving cum waterfall of a door. <laughs> If you ever need recommendations on where to get a drink in this town, Rob's your man. Ah, this is this is Danny, apparently. <laughs> oh, this is Danny? Yeah. Oh, sweet. 
Danny. Yeah, I, I told you it. not to call me Rob. Oh, cracker barrels. <laughs> right. Got it. Robert ambles away without saying goodbye. Hey. He's not really a people person. His dads aren't people people. Wow, I think I've actually met everybody else. Oh. Great. I bet you're excited to get to know everyone better. Hope you both enjoy yourselves. Amanda and I mill around and try to find some of the food spread out on the table. I pick at some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins piling it with baked goods. Uh, I don't want to have to make friends. Aww. Come on, Dad. Who are you going to party with when I go off to school? Penetrate their hard exterior. <laughs> but I don't want to have to do pleasantries. Mm, Dad. Oh, uh, they're going to talk about weather. Aww. Go. Do it. Make a friend. Get Christy Matt. But how can I possibly abandon my only child at a social function? That's bad parenting. <laughs> This plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. You just like open the oven and pull some brownies out and you're like, oh, daddy. <laughs> may or may not have actually said that before. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you have. Do you... Sometimes you... Do... I'm thinking of you, right? Sometimes you just like scream like, my pussy. Yes, she does. Or is that? Or am I thinking of Aaron Hansen, host of Game Grumps? <laughs> Who, who also screams about his pussy on a regular basis. I don't normally scream about my pussy, but I do sometimes. I feel, I definitely feel like I've heard you scream my pussy at I least once. I think like yeah. you scream fuck me instead. Oh, I know, like, I think you've screamed my pussy too really loud. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> just to get a reaction. Sometimes, I guess I don't normally scream things, it's just, like, screaming, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna breathe. <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah, narwhal. I'm gonna breathe. Nar the Obama voice. I'm gonna bro. Uh, breathe. Michelle, I'm, uh, I'm gonna breathe. I'm gonna breathe. <laughs> I fucking love the Obama bit. That's, like, <laughs> the best, the best thing they've ever I, done. It makes me tear up every time. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda shows me into the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around the party and am surprised to see some familiar faces. Oh, it's the coffee guy. Or is he the music guy? What a cool guy and mysterious. Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit in Dead Goth and Beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Yeah. Hey, I know Craig. But wait a second, all of these people live in our cul-de-sac? That can't be right. I'd better investigate. Mm hmm. You know, I just realized huh. it's all the non white guys that I'm hot for in this thing. <laughs> Except for the drinking guy, because I think he's hot too. Which one's the drinking Oh, the the guy Danny Robert, Robert. Robert. Biker Robert. Dad. Biker Biker dad. dad. Yeah. 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 But Craig and he Matt makes me, He makes and me think of Hugo. Reaper from Overwatch. He gives me, like, he beats his they wife don't. vibes. <laughs> Probably. But, like, I'd be okay with it. <laughs> Where's the twin from the school? No, Aloe, he's a child. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair, he's probably a year or two within Aloe's age. I don't know how that works in the UK. I don't know what the rules yeah. are. Actually, I don't even know what the age of consent is. I assume it's 18 over there, but I'm not sure. I mean, even here, it depends on the date. Well, that's not necessarily a good litmus test. No, it that does depend on the state. Half of our states are, like, probably <laughs> fucking... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like incestuous garbage pits. Yeah. Age of consent is 16 here, yeah. So Alan okay, well, totally legit go. for simping over that high school. Yeah, and, and uh, they think he's 12 anyway. He, yeah, goes into, he goes into Home Depot and they think he's they 12. They think he's 12? I got carded at the mall the other day. I had, someone asked me if I was over 16. Oh, honey. And I was like, sir, I'm almost 20. You know what? I got carded at the liquor store when I was 40. I believe that. <laughs> because they really seriously weren't sure I was over 21. Damn, I hope I have your genetics. <laughs> well, half. Half at least. Uh, Craig is the guy I like, right? Yeah. Well, and look at my mom. 93 hmm. years old. None of the yeah. women on your side look their age. And look at Martha. Are you yeah. guys? <laughs> no, sadly, no, we're not vampires. 
Matt and Hugo seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. Craig looks See? on, smiling politely. Hot dads and I walk over to say hello. These are the three hottest well, dads. These are the three hottest I think dads. we're all on board with Craig. Yeah. Uh, with, this is Matt. Matt has good style. Mm. And again, I maintain that Hugo just looks like the old pictures of dad from like when you guys got married. You got the but, same mustache. Like if you, if you take off like the bun on top, it's like really similar. True. Yeah. True. And the glasses are even kind of like the same style but that he wears. But you know me, I do love a man bun. It's true. Or some. Yeah, I'd let them run a train. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't... Oh, wait, who, who's Hugo? Uh, you're, you're Hugo. I think I'm all three of you. You're all of the dads, damn it. unfortunately. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I don't even remember Hugo's voice, so... Uh, I, I don't know. Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. Periods in art only exist because they're a unique byproduct of the social and political climate at, of a time and place. And to try to take something like, say, the Rococo period and compare it to postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. We live in a society. Matt and Hugo seem to be so busy talking that they don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's happening. I turn my attention to Craig, who seems a little more attentive to my existence. How'd resistance training go the other day? Oh. Great. Little River here is a great cheerleader. Aren't ya, tiny bro? Tiny bro. Craig grabs, River grabs River's arms and waves them around. Oh. You can do it, Dad. I'm so proud of you. I'm sorry for pooping on you. Yeah, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> she must be a handful at that age. Nice. Oh, they always are. Hey. But it's so worth it, bro. <laughs> Greg ga grabs River's arms again and waves them around. Mm. Also, I'm sorry for throw. Oh, also, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. Doing the baby. Embo King. That's why Joe likes him. Yes. That is why I like him. Hmm. Are you settling in? It's really cozy and the neighborhood is beautiful. I'm so glad we moved here. Oh. And I'm even more glad that we're right next to my old best friend. Wink, wink. Greg gives me a playful punch on the shoulder. Ow. I remember that hurting less in the past. Hmm? Sorry, sorry. I've been doing push-ups and stuff. Joe, how are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Hey, yeah. Seems like your daughter is fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another young girl are playing. They're all sitting cross-legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. A girl I don't recognize jogs over to us. Hey. What is it, sweetheart? It's a flower crown. I thought you'd look cute in it. Oh. Well, there's only one way to find out. Matt takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Hey. He's a computer. Oh. Am I cool now? The girl stares at him, thinking it over. Mm, nope. But you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Hey. <laughs> hey, Joe. This is my daughter. Hello. I'm Carmen Nis Car Carmen Sita. Huh. Amanda comes over with Daisy and tow. Dad, look, I'm making friends. <laughs> Are you making friends? You better be making friends. <laughs> yeah, actually, Amanda. You remember the cool barista from the coffee shop? And my old college friend? And uh your teacher? Ah. Oh, hi Mr. Vegeta. I didn't realize we were neighbors. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, that was. That's okay. You can yeah, say there. it. Yep. You still gonna get me that overdue term paper? Ugh. <laughs> Great seeing you. Amanda finger guns her way out of the conversation <laughs> like a champ. Bisexual confirmed. <laughs> to learn the finger guns from me, I'm very proud. Even though I'm not bisexual. Hmm. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which. Where did my son go? Sweet Manchego! Hugo looks around the party. 
He must finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Whoa! Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Vega! Are you smoking? Oh. Ernest is holding a lit cigarette. Nope. <laughs> I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long drag of a cigarette and then flicks it into a gutter. Oh. Unbelievable. Excuse me. Hugo marches over to Ernest and I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Oh. <laughs> Man, I do not envy Hugo. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. <laughs> and the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. And then spread right onto my lawn and burned down half of my yard, too. <sighs> Your girl walks back over to us, practically oh, God, dragging he looks Ernest like a behind him. Delinquent, doesn't he? <laughs> oh. Hey, everybody. Sorry about that, Joe. This is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away, sulking, his hands shoved deep in his pockets. Mm. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you in? Does it matter? Oh. Ernest. Okay, okay. I'm in eighth grade. God, are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. <laughs> er, yeah, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Get fucked again. <laughs> Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. Ouch. Uh. Uh, what's eighth grade? I don't. I, what do you guys have over there? You have, like, forms, right? Like, you're, like you're a fucking Dragon Ball Z character? Like, like fifth form. And it's seventh like form you're like 13, 14, but, yeah, I think, about 13. Grade. But am, am I right that they call them forms? I don't know. So, somebody has that, and I think it's the UK. Yeah, it's about the age. Of I 13. guess his voice went probably really. But I don't. Oh, I wasn't around boys. I don't know. It depends on the 13 year old. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Yeah, because that's definitely when some of their voices have changed. Year nine, okay. Form is what we have before class. What does even what mean? Is, yeah, what does that mean? <laughs> does that mean? <laughs> you guys just go to school and hop in your little cocoons and change form and then you have class. <laughs> is form like homeroom? Ernest. Probably, yeah. Oh, it's like homeroom. Okay, yeah. It's free to talk to us and take the register. Oh, yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. Ernest puts earbuds in and storms off to stand in the corner. Well, that was... that was certainly something. He seems nice. Hugo puts his head in his hands and sighs. Hmm? I'm so sorry. He's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the authoritarian dad, and he clearly resents me for it. Nice. I mean... I think, as a dad and a teacher, that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Hmm. Honestly, for any of us cool dad, is it even possible to be a cool dad? Yes, Ryan Reynolds. Oh yeah, my god, I would be wish an awesome dad. dad. Cool dad and fuckable. Daddy. Oh yeah. He is daddy. I think, I think all, all gender identities and all sexual orientations Ryan Reynolds. There, there's just and, something and about him. As Deadpool, he wants to fuck them back. And he does. Oh my god, I want to fuck Deadpool. Like Ryan Reynolds. What, what is, what is Dead, Deadpool's like? Pan, Dilf, yeah. pan or Omni or something? <laughs> is he? Can yeah, I, so I, I don't remember. That. Ryan Reynolds Some, is his own something picture. Something that very True. loosely equates to like, I'll fuck anybody. Yeah. But I, I don't know specifically like what class. Deadpool is Pan. Pan. Yeah. Okay. Uber Pan. Yeah. yeah. Uber Pan. He's like. King Pan. The ultimate pan. What? I'm cool as a cucumber. Oh. See, that right there. You can't say that. Huh. My kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Craig? 
How long do we get to school? Oh. I, uh, don't know. Loki is gender fluid. I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. I can totally see that. I can yeah. See that. Yeah, sounds great. I talked to Loki. <laughs> you, and, you and all of Tumblr. <laughs> I think I think he's on their list. Mm -hmm. Oh, I gotta do the long, deep voice for a long one. <clears throat> I think we just have to accept the fact that as dads, we've become the machine we once raged against. And our fate, unironically, accept our fate to unironically wear socks with sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're cute. Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. Nice. I yell across the yard to my daughter. Amanda, I'm cool, right? <laughs> Amanda just laughs. She just keeps laughing. <laughs> I see your point. Oh. As much as we all want it, I just don't think it's as important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me and Ernest. Hmm. Our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. God, I feel... <laughs> oh, I'm teasing. I am so teasing. Like, I'm 100% not okay, but like, I'm okay. I know. I know you're both wonderful. You got, you got, you got two you. big gay kids. You're, yeah. zero, you're zero for two. <laughs> yeah. No, or two for two. <laughs> <laughs> I totally scored. Yeah. Yeah. You're the best mom. I'm a lucky mom. Yeah. They're being all cute and wholesome. Oh, I need to cuddle my mom. Oh, sorry. Oh. Joe, that sounds like a line for my parents. What we had two we had two gays zero out of two. <laughs> oh no. Wasn't Loki distracting the horse forward? Yeah, so uh Jed was saying that Loki kinda did like a reverse Zeus. And turned into a female horse and got fucked. Uh, in in I... mythology. Which, yeah, like if you're a shapeshifter, right, you just fucking go nuts. Mm -hmm. Right? You, you'd do anything and everything with right? everybody. Yes. Yes. Why not? Of course. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have it both. Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time when it won't be like that. Is college when that happens? Oh. Most people, it's middle school. Yeah. Middle school is... Yeah. Don't let us eat up your time, Joe. Go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. I wouldn't mind if Brad gave me. Yeah. Okay. Same. Uh, do we talk to other people or do we have bird? I don't know. Who's Damien? Which one's Damien? Damien, I, I think, vampire. is the vampire dad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's not as hot Love as... You, you know, so. I normally have a thing for vampires, but Damien just doesn't do Yeah. Uh, it's 1020. I probably need now to Now wouldn't to bed. be a bad stopping Chill. point if you have to go to bed. Chillin'. Probably need to go to bed. Aren't you going to play this without me? No. No, we'll save No, we have other stuff to play without you, so we'll... Okay, you guys can play something else, and we'll pick this up again tomorrow night. Cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll maybe chat for a bit, um... And then maybe just raid somebody. All right. We I'll, don't... I'll probably stay in the chat when I get crawl in bed. But no, watch my hero. Watch my hero. Go to sleep. No, I'll try. Up. I'll try to watch the OVA. How's that? How yeah. long are the OVAs? Twenty minutes. Oh, so God, I won't get four of those done. There's only two, I think. I probably won't even get two of those. I'll start falling asleep. But uh, I mean, once I lay down, I'll start falling asleep, which is why I was just going to join chat because it's late. Right. But, you know, it's not like. Not like it's a... Let's see if this will yell at me if I try to switch. It doesn't look like it is, so that's good. Make sure when you're done with that thing, you hook it back in here in some way, shape, or form so it doesn't fall behind the couch, okay? I will. And you can have this lovely spot. So let's go... Can we go here? Yes? Okay. Uh, and can I dump this in here? Have that show up there i gave i gave you a little oh i'm caring yeah you're right because because i was like what can i do for like you two not having avatars yeah well 
we'll get there eventually. Why is this not going behind stuff? Won't be too long now with yeah. the new computer. Oh, uh, maybe yeah. tomorrow I'll be on okay. Yeah, I. Well, I'm not really prepared to have her avatar here, but oh well, I'll just do that. And then I will, like, scoop myself over. You gonna use that Try spot, that one. or should I take the blanket away? You can and take the blanket. Okay, I'll have to come back in. I can't one. get it all in one shot. Can I move this? Oh, yay! There, that's good enough. Yeah, so mom, Mama's going to bed. Uh, good night, gang. Good night, MDZH. Yeah, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not good at just carrying a conversation by myself. So I don't know how long. Oh, I can't. Just either. chatting will go. I'd let everyone else do all the talking. <laughs> oh, but you'll be chatting at the chat, and the chat will be responding. So it's like talking. Yeah, um, which I can't do. <laughs> she can't talk. Uh, do you want the pillow? Nah. Should I put the foot thing down? I mean, are you really going to stay right where you are? Yeah. Okay. Might as well. I'm just going to stare at you guys. No. Please don't. No. Uh, okay. Random bullshit. This is probably a lot of stuff you guys know, but I'll go over it again just because. Uh, new PC. Got all the parts. That's getting built Saturday. Uh, so that will be good. I probably won't have it ready Saturday night. For the Jackbox collab, uh, which is another thing. Um, that'll be really fun. Uh, Aloe will be there, and I think he'll be debuting his avatar for that. So that'll be fun. Um, Mo, Bonri, some of you guys might know them. Uh, the other people you may not know, but I think it'll be fun. Uh, E3 is coming up. Sony announced today that they're doing stuff on the 13th as well. So that'll probably just be like one one long like extra stream in the day. The Microsoft and Bethesda conference, because they own Bethesda now, uh, rolling into Sony. And then Nintendo is on Tuesday because reasons. And I don't know if I'm going to make that one or not. Uh, I won't be able to stream that night because of the setup downstairs, so I'm not going to use my avatar. But we will do E3 stuff. So, even if you don't actually stream, it would be nice if you, like, could send me the PNGs to use. You know, because that, like, that's what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to have, like, everybody lined up in sequence along the bottom. Uh, but if you want to actually save it for, like, a debut in your stream, I can just, like, you know, like have a silhouette for you or something like like a human shape with question mark. Uh, you're going to be doing stuff Saturday. or something, right? So you're not going to be doing um, three streams with us. No, I'm having a Goyle's Day Saturday and then I work again Sunday, Right. Okay. Um, but I'll be back Monday. I'll be here at home Monday through Wednesday and leave Thursday probably. But then I work Tuesday night as well. Right, so yeah, so Monday and Wednesday we'll play something just the two of us. Mm -hmm. Tuesday I'll probably do Hades, and then she might just like pop in when she gets back if I'm still going. Yeah. Uh, I took the image my profile came from and photoshopped out the background so people can use that. Yeah, that'll work. Uh, and the E3 streams will be in a hot tub too. So we'll be doing hot tub streams. Hot. Which, obviously that started as an IRL thing, but I guess it turned into like a VTuber Beat thing, because why not? That's so cute. We're all we're all monsters. <laughs> uh I don't know. What else? Free free QA time if you guys want to ask us shit. I it's, it seems like you had a fun first stream, so I'm glad. Yeah, I'm no, glad I mean I finally I'm, had you on. I'm glad that we were able to play that. Because there's so much dialogue that we have to read, there's not a whole lot of time, I feel like, for commentary. It, it's a little um, different than usual for that reason, yeah. But probably good to ease me into the transition of it, because I was very anxious. <laughs> right. Yeah, We. I mean, we made some funny jokes, too. Yeah. I think I think chat liked it. Chat, chat was, like, very active, even though I wasn't, like, going back and forth. I guess that makes sense, right? Like, in theory, 
there would maybe be like double the messages because they're talking to each other rather than talking to me. Mm -hmm. Uh, but yeah, it, it seems like you guys enjoyed this, so I'm glad. I don't. I don't know if I'm gonna do like. I don't know if we'll do every single route. You know, like. We'll we'll play through it, uh, at least once for sure, and then then we'll see after that. Yeah, I mean, I know you like the one hundred percent thing, but I'm not I'm not particularly worried about it for this. Yeah, I, I'd also be fine just like doing it and then just kind of like having it floating in the ether. You know, it's and, and then at, at a later date, if chat's like, hey, like, we really want you to go back and play this, then, like, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Fair. Go after Craig. Yeah, I, I, we're going to do Craig. Craig's going to be our, our bang boy. He's taste. He's very tasty. Uh, have, speaking of Craig and Nate voicing him, have you seen Monster Prom? Do you know, like, I what that is? I don't kind of? remember the character that he voiced, but I have seen people play Monster Prom. What, what did you say it was? Damien? Damien, yeah. I mean, I just want to fuck Nate wants to battle, but... Yeah, I know. Uh, schedule for the rest of the week, right? So, uh, today oh, is, yeah. today's Thursday. Tomorrow's going to be more of this. Uh, Kiki and Mom are both around, so we will do uh, another Dream Daddy stream. Saturday is going to be the VTuber Jackbox collab Chaos Extravaganza. Uh, and that's going to start... 9-ish compared to like 8-ish so it'll be starting slightly later than usual I don't know how long we'll go it'll kind of depend on everybody else but we'll see uh Sunday we would normally do Valheim but Mike's wow rating schedule is changing uh, so we may just put Valheim on ice for a little bit uh, which also gives me a chance to get my computer set up so that's not all bad uh, Valheim will probably just be, like, moving to another night. We still have to, like, check with Pat and see what his availability is. Uh, but it, it's not... The intention isn't to, like, end it. Like, we still want to do it periodically. Uh, gonna try to make it tomorrow's stream. Depends on how exhausted you are. Yeah. If you can, cool. If not, get some sleep. Uh, and, and maybe, like, sleep in Saturday or something, too, so that or, or whatever day it is for you, so that you're not, like, dying if we, like, go late for the Jackbox stream. Uh, so that that takes us through... Or I, I guess I didn't say when I'm playing Sunday, so not Valheim, so probably some more Hades. Uh, because that, I'm thinking, will just be, like, me doing a solo stream. Uh, and then Monday, Kiki will be around, so we will pick out another gay game from a few options that I have. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, probably Hades, and she may show up. Wednesday, uh, continuing that same game that we pick. Uh, I'm, I'm not looking at your calendar here, I'm just rattling this off. So, Wednesday is the 9th. The 10th, then, is when the Final Fantasy DLC comes out. So I want to play that. Even though it's not, like, explicitly gay or anything, it's pretty anime people, so I feel like I can swing that. That's gay enough. And then Friday, immediately after that, on the 11th, uh, Ratchet and Clank comes out, which is also not explicitly gay, but I want to play it. <laughs> and I'm gonna, I'm gonna like use furries as my justification for that, because <laughs> uh, furries are hella gay. Yes. Uh, and beyond that, I'm not sure. After that, it's another weekend, which would be another great time for a collab. But I think some people are busy. But maybe some people aren't. I just haven't planned that far ahead yet. So we'll see what works out. Uh, gay enough because you won't be able to not beat it during Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> it's it's Yuppie, though, not Cloud. So, uh, I don't know. Narwhal might have some feelings about Yuffie, but I don't, I don't think the rest of us. I, I think she has, like, a boy with her, though, so maybe he's cute. It's It's like new stuff that they're just kind of making up, so I don't fully know what to expect. Yeah, yeah, I, I expect that you'll probably skip those. Uh, it'd be great if I could just do it in, like, one stream, but I doubt that. Uh, one, I it, it's two chapters compared to the 18 of the main game, so that's still probably at least a few hours. 
but I'm also kind of expecting them to throw some bullshit trophies at me, like, beat it on hard mode. Uh, and I platinum the original, so I'll platinum the DLC. Yeah, Mom, you're, you're fine. You're fine if you miss Final Fantasy. She, yeah, she's probably going to be, like, camping next week. Kind of sad that I'm at a point where I have cloud stickers on my HD. You have cloud stickers, you have cloud clothing, you have cloud posters. I think, like, even loot stuff, right? Like, you have Lavan cloud stuff or something? You have a lot of cloud stuff. Yeah, Mom, you're supposed to be missing out on chat right now. Watch My Hero. <laughs> Go to bed, Mom! Catch up, I want to watch Season 5. Camera's struggling. You, well, and that happens sometimes. It, it, not the the PC. There's too oh, much okay. stuff, so sometimes the camera like gets stuck, uh, and but then it catches back up. I, I was worried before stream because like OBS like froze up, uh, which is why we didn't have music in the pre-stream. Uh, but hopefully, even if I don't get my PC ready by Saturday night, uh, if I can get it like set up. Saturday and then do like all the software and moving shit and whatever on Sunday uh, then maybe by Sunday night we could uh, be using that I was telling Kiki what, like, once I get the PC I'm gonna get VR figured out which, which I've mentioned on here before but I want to like uh, get like Minecraft and load it up with like shaders and really good stuff and then also play Minecraft in VR, because you can do that, I guess. Uh, and just have, like, like a $3,000 Minecraft stream. Pro probably, maybe the one just, like, by myself for the hell of it. Uh, I might play some Heroes again, because I could actually run it this time. Even my Mac did a bad job at that. Uh, but then eventually, once Allo gets moved and we do more content, we'll get the VTuber SP going. Uh, and hopefully I can just, like, do VR on that. Like, even if other people aren't. Can't you just use the SSD from this PC and the new one so you don't have to transfer everything? Maybe, but it's not big. I, there really isn't that much to transfer anyway. It'll be like downloading a few programs, uh, moving some, like, things that, like, OBS and Premiere are going to reference and stuff. I think I can, like, like export an OBS profile, basically, and re-import it so I don't have to, like, meticulously set up everything from scratch, because that would kind of suck. Ten times more dirty, Allo, you're building yourself up. Yeah, I mean, hopefully, hopefully Allo goes full slut. <laughs> I want to see it. Yeah, okay, so, uh, I, I keep saying that we should, we should have, like, a party stream for when he moves out full frontal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And one of the things I discovered a couple weekends ago now, when just I was just like chatting with him on one of his streams, he's never eaten a hamburger apparently. The fuck? Despite the fact that he goes to McDonald's all the time, he just gets like chicken strips. Uh, never had Taco Bell. Never had ranch dressing. And some fourth thing that I was also upset about. What was the fourth thing? Does anybody remember? I don't know. Yeah, I, I know you're not American, I know you're not in hamburger country, but, like, have a hamburger once. So, well, I, I want, I, I have no idea if he'll do this, but I would love it. Do, like, a mukbang stream. Yeah, yeah, like, as, part, as part of his, like, uh, like, big boy moving out party hella gay stream, like, eat some of those foods live and react. Yes, oh my god. I would enjoy that, but uh, I, I don't know, if, I don't know if he wants to do that. At the end of the day, if he does a, like that, if you know, it's gonna be his stream, not mine. <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, but maybe, maybe I'll like order it for him and like guilt. I don't. I don't know if you can do that overseas. I don't know if I could like order food to his house or something. What do you dip your chicken fingers in if it's not ranch? Probably like ketchup or barbecue. That would be an expensive ass stream. Yeah, he, he's also like, uh, you know, like college student ketchup budget. Fair. Yeah, I get that. Honey mustard. That's a good answer. The, I mean, you really can't go wrong. There's a lot of good sauces. Mm. 
Um. Cummies. Best answer. Cummies. Yes. I didn't know honey mustard was a thing until the meme. Do you just not eat food? <laughs> do you just do you just eat the same food? You have fish and chips, and and McDonald's chicken strips, which rhymes, <laughs> uh, and that's just all you eat. And and then like happy slices. I'm just not American. Honey mustard isn't. That's not. I don't know. That's not like. That's not exclusively American. I don't maybe think it so. is, but I don't know. I didn't think so. Food is not natively American. Well, you know what? There is that joke about like. Uh, the English Empire conquered the world for their spices and then decided they didn't want yeah. any of them. So may maybe Al is like falling into that category and he just has like really plain food. Lunchables today. Don't tempt me with apple slices. I mean, you could also <laughs> just like get an apple from like what H and V? That's like your gas station kind of place. Just like you can get an apple anywhere and just have it. You don't have to go to McDonald's for an apple. They probably fucking lace it with sugar or something, even though it's on their healthy menu. Probably. Although I do like their apple pies. Oh, their hand pies are so good. Oh god, I would. Do would that you call a hand pie? Yeah. You can't just say hand pie. <laughs> that's, hand pies. that's lewd. <laughs> what else would? Yeah, they're little pocket pies, hand pies. I don't know. Even pocket pie <laughs> sounds like a fucking <laughs> masturbator or something. Stick your dick in a hand pie. <laughs> H M. Yeah, okay, so I was sort of right. HMV is a music store, but it has stuff. What is a puka pie? Puka pie. The only puka I know is like a puka shell from like Hawaii or something. I have no idea what that means in a put it in your mouth context. I've never had one. <laughs> well, do you have any idea? Is it like I'm gonna I guess Google, we Google it? We're not getting any answers it, here. <laughs> I know he he fucking did this the other day too. With I was like, what like what's what's a drink like HJ or something? Oh, like pot pies. Okay, so like meat, vegetables, etc. Just kind of things jammed in a pie. Oh, so I'm really fucking hungry. What do I fucking eat for dinner? Rice ball. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, even though I have a million things to do, if you want to like hang out after this, we could hang out, watch something, put something on, maybe just fuck around on Definitely. TikTok. Definitely. I'm probably too tired to dye my hair tonight and do a good <laughs> job, so I'll do that tomorrow. Her hair, what like what did you have it dyed as even? Okay, before? so because I'm a manic gay bitch and change my hair color once a month, uh -huh. um, I was red, then we tried to strip the red out of it without bleaching because I've got really curly hair, and if you bleach it, then my hair becomes straight, and I hate that. I hate having straight hair. Can't have straight. Can't have straight. No, never. We don't stand that. Kinky curls only. Um, and so, removed that, and then tried to dye it, like, pink, but it looked really bad, and then I tried to fix it, and I made it worse, so I went crying to my hairdresser, had her bleach it, and it turned out to be, like, this gorgeous pastel peachy pink color. So I kept that for a while um, and now it's just faded to the point where I can't tell if it's just like a really bad bleach that's gone yellow or if it's supposed to be that color. So I'm going to retint it like a peachy pink. Um, I need, cause I I need to, to figure like, out how to turn like the sound detection off so that my mouth doesn't move when one of you is talking. Oh, does it? Does it move when I talk? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I need to have like pastel warm hair so I can be the anime girl of my dreams. I, I zoned out. What are you dyeing it? Peachy that, pink. Okay. Yeah, you've done peachy pink before. Yeah, I try to keep it in the warm tones because I did. I mean, I liked when I had the blue ombre hair, but it made me look kind of sickly because um, I'm very pale and it just made me look yellow and like I, I don't know, I'd gangrene or something. <laughs> so uh, it is the one I'm like the, the like fucking weeb. Yeah, it runs in the family. Like the, the deep aquamarine or whatever? When it was, yeah, I had the like, like blue the really like midnight blue roots and then it was the aquamarine ombre when we right. went to Japan. That's what it was. Yeah, it, it does run in the family but it like sources from me. Like I turned my mom into a weeb. It's contagious. Yeah. He's ruined me. Yeah. And my, da my dad, unfortunately, he just doesn't get in on the nerd shit. I can, we, we can watch like Star Wars and Marvel with him, but that's it. Otherwise, he just kind of sighs and walks away disappointedly. Yeah. 
Yeah, we were talk we were talking about stuff earlier, and Kiki said something about dad on dad action. And he was just like, "What the fuck?" Well, I was very excited for Dream Daddy because I get to live my fantasy of being a dad dating other dads, <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted some of that hot dad on dad action. Yeah, I'd probably fall more in the camp buddy category and be like, <laughs> I, I, I want to be a twink dating twinks. I want to be a twink, but as also as a bi girl, I want to date a twink. Yeah. Twinks are just great. I love them. Yeah. Gotta, gotta support the twinks. Mm-hmm. The, the straights can support the, the troops and the gays can support the twinks. <laughs> Need to play more of Camp Buddy, so you've played it then. I guess you did say you were gonna order like the Scoutmaster edition. Uh, I you guys may have noticed on the title screen this too. Uh, this is the the Dad Rector's cut. Only the best for my chat. The dad. Got got the premium premium version of Dream Daddy. <laughs> the dream and the goal. I want that for you, and I want that for me, and I want that for all of us. Same. Uh, except for Jed, who wants bears instead. Damn that. Palk's married to a twink, I don't know if you knew that. Lucky. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mom had mentioned, because she loves she loves talking about you She guys. really does she love does. you guys. Every time I'm in the car shopping with her, she's talking about well, like what happened in the chat last night. It's really it's, cute and wholesome. God, it's so fucking cute, I can't. Um, They're a bit of work IRL. But so yeah, she. You, she got, you gotta give them apple slices that. after sex. <laughs> I still love that joke. That's like, like, in, you know, like instead of hey daddy, like hey sport. Hey sport. Like, hey here, bud. you did a good job. You want like some apple slices in a juice box? Yeah, a couple. One of my straight friend couples, the, the only straight people I hang out with, um, they call each other bud or buddy. Wait, I'm younger than him? Didn't you say he was like 22 or something? And I, you don't know how tall I am either. What are you talking about? Oh, Aloe is. Sure, yeah, yeah. Aloe Al is a teeny tiny little twinkus. I'm Adorable. not 22, I'm 27. I'm 22. Almost 23. Proud of myself. <laughs> <laughs> you, you survived this long. Honestly, that's a fucking miracle. <laughs> yeah. Hello, you did say something about being small enough to fit in one of the drawers under my bed, so <laughs> there's that. Storm away for later. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I uh BK was playing or or rather his brother Mick was playing some like horror shit and there were like cages and we made a joke about like, oh that's the, just the cage I keep Allo in. There's a song that my roommate's been listening to that talks about keeping boys in cages and watching them while they sleep. Okay. Which I'm here for. Would I know the artist? No. It's just, it's called Body Bag. It's a pretty good song. I'd look it up. Who sings it, though? Uh, Chloe something or other. No one I'd heard of before. Okay. Uh, well, I think, I think we'll wrap up. Uh, let me see who is live. Uh, so I can I can drop you kids off at your dad's. <laughs> uh, looks like Mick is playing probably more of that same horror game. Are you crying about needing to be called to ride, to ride the twink or because we're ending stream? <laughs> I I don't know I I don't I don't want to necessarily just sit I'm just chatting forever and I want to hang out with Kiki too, uh, and like watch some stuff. In general, Judd doesn't even want a twink. He wants a beefy cat boy from Final Fantasy. Ooh, cat boy. They're having bunny boys too. <gasps> they saw They that. already had the girl version, which is kind of like mommy step on me. Oh, uh, wait, now, hold on. I need to look that up. Viera is what those are called. Uh, I think I still want to be a cat boy though. Plus, I'll probably start on Final Fantasy 14 sooner than the fall when the expansion comes out. Look at mommy. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. I'm wet. So, uh, if you if you play that with me, oh, which we oh. could do because we'll have two PCs, uh, you could be a female Vera. <gasps> and we could both just be acting out like our I, fantasies. Okay, I need to... I'm cosplaying as that. <laughs> I, that's, 
I'm gonna sell that for money. Yeah, I think, I think, uh, her playing that would be like a fun thing to do, especially it, it would like have having somebody to like, uh, like riff off of for like, like boring grindy shit. Joe okay. Catboy cosplay. I got a picture of him in cat ears once. Me? Yeah. When? In the cat cafe. Oh yeah, we went. To I don't cat have cafe that again. anymore though, since my phone was. Oh, you know, since yeah. it died, I lost that. I so lost all my. There, picks, there but... was a photo of me and cat ears, but it's lost, lost. In the ages. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Allo, both of us, both of us need to be cat boys. Yeah. Wait, what game? Final Fantasy fourteen, uh, which is an MMO. Shoot, what day were you doing that on? I don't have a day. My, oh, okay. My, oh, my... it was seven you were doing on. So, yes, seven okay. DLC. Okay, cool. Yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, the fourteen, the fourteen thing was just sort of like loosely in the air okay. on my initial schedule because I didn't know that this was going to happen so soon. Yeah. Like when I let's see, we we picked that up yesterday, uh, and I ordered it the week before on Thursday. So very in the span of a week, I went from like I'm in PC hell, I don't know what's happening, to I have a PC, literally all of the parts now. But yeah, definitely um, have a thing for bunny people, would want to fuck the guys and the girls, and I would be interested in playing that. I can't guarantee I'll be any good. I'm definitely like a fake fucking gamer. Um, well, but... it's one, it's an MMO, so the early, like the combat in general, you know, is going to be more like, ah, okay. ah, and not like bobbing and weaving and dodging around. Okay, that's uh, good. But two, like, you'll start early game and if you stick around long enough to need to be good you'll have the experience probably to be good enough don't his sister about fake gamer no i'm not a fake gamer twink i'm a i'm a real gamer sloth <laughs> i don't know i'm using i'm using sloth as my gay animal for obvious reasons i wonder what what would be what my gay animal? oh uh, you're, you don't need a gay animal. You can just be a stand from Jojo. Fair enough. You're just, she, she, she just does like poses all the time. I wish I had hands. I, dude, I, yeah, she, I wish. She just contorts her body and poses in weird ways. And I'm just like, you look like a Jojo's Bizarre Adventure character. I constantly am just moving all the fuck around. She's, she's got a lot of energy and feelings. I and got a lot of chaotic energy and it only does. comes out at when I, when I come home. Yeah. And, and it manifests as uh, a stand. I mask everything at school, but it's just full force here. Yeah. Jed, I definitely want to coordinate with you uh, for final fantasy. Disaster bisexual. Absolutely. fucking yeah. That is you accurate. Are, you are a disaster bisexual. <laughs> I'm a hot fucking mess. <laughs> at least you're a hot one. I, you know what? I got abs again. I got skinny. Yeah. Uh, you know, we, we've talked about how I work out every day and I've maybe slimmed a little bit, but I'm really not anywhere uh, particularly amazing yet. She is a fucking buff boss bitch and had just <laughs> been like working out probably too much. Oh, definitely for a, too much. Like a long time. <laughs> but yeah, because I was, I was, uh, daddy's little athlete growing up. So. Yeah, because I wouldn't be. <laughs> so that's in my blood. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do it, Allo. I believe it. We can both get abs, and then we can make the, the only fans. Hell yeah. Which is all booty shorts and bar boob shirts. <laughs> in general or in Final Fantasy, do they have that? I don't remember what they have for armor besides, like, 2B's skirt or whatever. In general, normalize men wearing crop shirt, like crop shirts, crop sweatshirts. They don't believe me about like all the fucking cat boys and like boys who want to get pegged on TikTok. Do they not have TikTok? That's like all that I see. Most of them don't. Or okay, some, I don't know. Fair. Some, I mean, I don't use social media. Either. I know Aloe doesn't. I think other people maybe don't. Uh, a few people, I think, do. There's so many of them and it revs my engine. It butters my fucking egg roll. Uh, in, in Mo, one of my streamer friends in one of their streams recently, we got down a rabbit hole of things and eventually landed at something that really tickled me, uh, which is calling a boyfriend a butter cannon. A butter cannon? You butter... No, it's like... 
Like the, the vine? I don't know that one either. You guys don't know? Nobody know that I don't one. know. I don't know the butter your egg rolls thing. No, that's just... You know, okay, you know like when Vine died and they made like, yeah, like especially all the compilation videos too, like that right. was one of the classic titles. It was like Vines that just butter my egg roll. It's a Vine. It's a thing. I do not butter my egg rolls. Jock straps, yeah. I think we could all get behind a jock strap. Uh, okay, so I we're I am I am kind of having fun chatting, but also I want to get wrapped up. So I'm gonna toss you kids over to the ultra rare OS channel. Uh, we'll raid Mick. Uh, go ahead and if you want to do a raid message, you can do Hot Gay Summer again. Uh, which oh the graphic isn't on the screen, so I can't do it. But you know, bloosh, pretend I splooshed. Sploosh. Uh. Someday, Aloe, I will give you a chance to pay for me in a crop top. Or we can just exchange picks. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> uh, thanks for hanging out, guys. I had a fun stream. I'm glad you had a fun stream. Yeah, nice meeting everybody, like, officially. Uh, Hopefully and you enjoyed it. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow with more of the same. Let me just queue up my raid here. Ooh la la, what legit flirting. <laughs> All right, night guys, bye-bye.